Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. We're back for some shenanigans. Yay. <laughs> middle, middle of April. I'm not sure of the dates. I, I live in a bubble, but I know it's the middle of April. <laughs> yes. Which Essentially. Means, yeah. You know, the countdown to retired to Spezio is getting closer. Yay. I'm off on Monday for pre-admission testing. So I only have to work four days next week. I'm pretty happy. Who's here? Oh, Jolita. I she came to my house. Oh, cool. Hi, Jolita. Hey, Jolita. I got to meet Layla. First of all, I bad sciatica. I could not go downstairs. So Colton was in my bedroom. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> there now. And I mean, Jolita was there and she watched, but um, <laughs> that little Layla is the cutest uh, baby. And the one thing- Isn't Layla I, amazing? She's amazing, two and a half pounds, guys. This was like the gift of heaven to hold this little two and a half pound- Oh my gosh. And her hair, oh. her hair is like, she could do shampoo commercials. It's so soft, and just like you, just oh, want to she's smush, so happy. You just want to smush your face in it. She is Aww. just the happiest dog. Yeah, she's very she's happy. Lovely. She was very happy to be on my bed. She um licked my nostrils, which <laughs> has never been done before, but apparently it's it's a favorite. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Jolie is like Jolie is like. Yeah, she just, I can't even do that. I can't do, I can't do Southern play <laughs> here more. You know, she just does that, you know, whatever. But Colton now is also holding his dog. And, you know, he says the dog's name. I don't understand Southern, but the dog's name is Bolt, B-O-L-T. Bolt. But yeah, they say like the like movie. Bolt, Bolt. Like the movie. Like, what? Bolt. What? Yeah, it took, it took me a few times to yeah. get the name. That's Southern accent thing. But she, little Layla wanted to play with Tony. And Tony was mean. Oh. <laughs> no, Tony. Tony hasn't had a lot of experience with guest dogs in the house. So. No, and the bed. The bed is like you know his. You know that's my his mommy. Theory. Those yeah. are my nostrils that I've never licked. I don't know what <laughs> you think you're doing. <laughs> if I was mad, he'd be like, "You don't let me lick your face." <laughs> Too cute. You got jealous. Hi, everybody. Hi, Kathy, Robbie, Doug, my love, Jan. Welcome. Hey, Jolita. It was a really good treat. I didn't get, Hi, I didn't get the whole boat. Hi, Robbie. Hi, Robbie. Who am I missing? There's a lot of So here's my recommendation. Joyce. Jolita has this app called, like, Where the Hell is Jolita? Okay. <laughs> so she travels the whole country. If she's oh, passing wow. through an area, you can track her and say, I'd like to meet this. Like, meeting this dog is life changing. She's <laughs> the cutest thing I've ever seen. Aww. She's fake. She's like a wind up dog. Aww. And so excited and so happy and just the most beautiful thing, creature. But I mm -hmm. swear, it was like a Breck shampoo commercial when I touched her hair. I was like, <laughs> I never like I couldn't believe hair like I could, be, could exist on a dog. And then Colton doesn't let go of Bolt at all. Like so, no. he's got. A I think it's, I think it's better, especially in a guest house, if he holds on to Bolt. Yeah, yeah. he swaddled he swaddles him like a newborn. Well. So he's all up in his shirt and whatever. And Colton walks in with patriotic shorts. And guess who also has the same pair, Tom? I saw your minds. I live in America, proud to be so free. Me and Colton. I was like, what the heck is going on in my bedroom? Now, as I said, I was having a particularly bad day with my sciatic. I mean, a really bad day. So I never left the room. Aww. But 
my niece came, ch gave me a sponge bath, changed my sheets. She made me presentable for company. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Right. So part of being what I have is I have to put wee-wee pads on my bed just in case. So I'm sitting on the wee-wee pad, talking to Jolita, trying to enjoy Colton, because why not? And then, of course, the dog. <laughs> I'm starting to slide off the bed. Oh, no. Slide. Oh, no. And so Jolita's like, you need help? I was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey, Tracy, we don't need 911. Although no. her could have did a good job. So Tom never, never pays attention to me when I'm saying help. 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 Tommy, help. Julie's like, you want me to help you? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. Tommy. I got my own over here. So Tom's like, okay, what's going on over there? I said, I'm sliding. I'm sliding right off the bed. Like the thing was slippery. So he's like, what should we do? I was like, I know. Let's get me up. <laughs> and let's move the thing that I'm sliding from. Let's start with that. Yeah. Let's start with so luckily I was able to get in position to enjoy the visit because I couldn't really enjoy it while I was sliding down <laughs> I was like, oh I'm right I'm yeah. away from the floor which I've been picked up from before oh I can't, I can't I can't Tracy Morgan you are the winningest person in the whole of the yes. land very much and People think that we Trisha's fix it see what you and you rig it for you to win, it. and we don't. So you have not. No, seen it's told. It's one hundred percent random. Random. Uh huh. It couldn't be I would, I would, more I would random. A huge shout out because you are trying to participate in these fun activities that Trisha has set up, <laughs> and your activity in trying is proving to be very successful because you had a trifecta. Last week you won three out of five. Yeah, four out of yeah. five. I mean, four out of five. I don't no, know. Three, three, three out three, of five. Three out of five. Three out of yeah. five. Amaze balls. And all of us had a question. Well, no, I had the question. And I threw it out into the universe. Aaron, you're sideways. <laughs> He's back. He's, He's fine. Back. He's, good. He's a lot. He's a lot of work, girls. He's a lot of work. <laughs> Tracy Morgan, are you available to share with us? your gender if you don't want to oh. answer that's okay but we don't know so we have a split decision on what your gender is and it's not our business i mean it's really not our business but you know on the sue spezio show sometimes i want to know things that are not my business so tracy morgan <laughs> my question to you is will you share your gender or your pronoun because now you got to have pronouns too right well, a lot of people do, yes, and they and they do share their pronouns, yes. So Tracy Morgan is a she Lodo. She says all women. She says she's, she's a all Lodo. Women. L O T O, Lodo. What the frick is a Lodo? <laughs> Laughing out loud. Oh, look at, the, look at the next the comment down. But then it says all women or all women. So she's she's a woman. Well, you are one. Thank you, girl. Tracy. <laughs> all women. Thank you for playing in the Sue Speedio game. We, uh, I, I didn't know, and it's not my, you know, like it's not my right to know. You didn't have to share, but thank you because I don't sleep at night thinking about this stuff. <laughs> you know. And then we had like, if it was a girl, it would have E Y. Would it have I? No. 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 And so no. yes, yeah, I talked about you when you weren't here, because you kept winning, and winning, and winning, and I was like. We're friends on Instagram. So I went back to Instagram to see if there were any clues. There were no clues at all. <laughs> None. None. I mean, you know, I have to know. Right? I have to know. That's it. That's it. Well, now you know. Now I know. Now Sue can sleep tonight. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I didn't sleep last night, but I had an interesting thing happen to me sitting right here two nights ago. I fell asleep sitting up. That has never happened to me. 
Mm. Wow. Uh, my niece walked in. She thought I was dead. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, like they get used to it. You're gonna be retired. You're gonna be napping whenever you feel like it. Not even holding my head up, just like that's that's what that's what the joys of retirement. So she says, Aunt Susie, Aunt Susie, honey, Aunt Susie. And then she came and like held me. And she's like, Aunt Susie, are you okay? And I looked over like that. I said, What's going on? <laughs> goes, it looks like you were sleeping, honey. You fell asleep. You get a little sleepy time sitting up. She talks to me like, Yeah, she's my mother and in a, uh, talks to me in a baby voice, right? So I said, to her, I, said to her, I said to her, Did I have a stroke? Am I okay? She goes, You seem to be okay. <laughs> How long have you been here? So I was watching whatever Trisha recommended, Monster Face. Two seasons of Monster Face that's going to come back. Mind Hunter. Mind Hunter. Mind Hunter. Okay. Mind Hunter. So I did my homework. She said I could watch it. So I, 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 I finished season one. So when I, two nights ago, so I started. It's here. good, isn't it? Well, I have questions about it before oh. I before I'll commit. Okay. okay, you realize the, the show it was Stop. it's been no. five Stop. years Stop. since the show's been on. Stop. Yeah. Pasta. Five pasta, years. pasta. I've been working. I've been working full time. Okay. I, know. I just learned how to use my phone and watch stuff. I didn't know. Anyway, um I look at my phone. And it's the middle of episode two of season two. So I slept through all of season two, <laughs> episode one, and, yes. half, and they're an hour, like 55 minutes. Yeah, that was a so good nap. I sat like this for at least an hour and a half. I think there's something wrong. I don't know. Like, does you anybody, don't think like, you just needed some sleep? <laughs> Well, normally I yawn, you know, you're, you know, you get signals that you're tired, right? You get signals, I know, and then I go lay down. Maybe. This was the first time I've ever fallen asleep sitting up in place. Luckily, I didn't just, like, lose my, like, ugh, and become jello, and no jello references. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just sound asleep, out cold. But it was it, it freaked me out so you know add that to the list of things i'm able to do i can sleep sitting up <laughs> although i don't recommend it because if i would have been like head first into the computer and god knows if they're gonna make me pay, pay for any damages i've made to this computer which are many god knows the food they're gonna find in my keyboard <laughs> mozzarella mortadella prosciutto all stuck in i thought about cleaning it with an, a little airbrush and a you know toothpick mm. but no no so kids the retirement party that the people have to pay for the guy now has changed the price to 55 dollars a person oh my girls know that there's nobody that's going to pay fifty-five dollars a person. No, they felt bad at thirty-five dollars. Just ask him to cancel. Yeah. Just say, just say, just cancel. If the it's not worth it, just that's cancel. So then they they came up with alternative. I'll let's talk have, to him. Let's have the party in the office. I said I will never step foot in the office again. Number one, I'm no. done. Number two, the office is not handicap friendly. How am I going to go to the bathroom in the office? It's called handicap friendly, but the way they built the walls and the door, a, a wheelchair can't turn. It just can't turn. It's not possible. So I said, cancel the party. I don't Good want Good for it. you. Good for I you. Said, I don't so, oh, you're in Ohio? So somebody lives in Ohio. We got, we got peeps in Ohio. We got a couple peeps yes. in Ohio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mary Ancestral Beginnings is in Ohio. Yeah. Delbert is in Ohio. Delbert's a must see. He can bench press you. And Colton now. 
I mean, that wasn't the activity that was happening in my bedroom, but you know, <laughs> everyone should have their own unique experience with Colton, Jolita, Bolt. That sounds like Colt. You know, like my name is Sue. What would I name my dog, Lou? Right? Like it's like you have to rhyme. <laughs> then Jolita. I'm sharing too much, but I'm jumping all over the place. So anyway, back to the party. They want the managers to kick in more money, right? So I says, look, it's like I'm running my own damn ball. I says, call the restaurant. Stop emailing. Use your voice. Which one of you two millennials has got the, the power to talk? So, of course, the mama, Sam. She puts it on speaker so we could hear. And I tell her what to say. I say, say, Lou, you said you would work with us with our budget. Now why are we at $55 a person when we told you our budget was $35 a person? Because you're not getting enough people there. So in order to reserve the space and the food and everything, they got to up the price per person. So they're still covering their end. And that's and why you the, just got to And the staff and the, the bartender and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So mm -hmm. they, they came up with a fair compromise that I'm okay with. No preset menu. A pizza, an antipasta, soda, go get your own drink. And I'm fine with that. For I, I $35? That includes tax and gratuities. Wow. Oh, pizza. well, that's better. That's, yeah. that's better that it includes the tax and the gratuity. Yeah. That including the tax and the gratuity. So that that for, would be for all five of you who are going to be there. 27 people. Okay. Oh, okay. I, me, Tom, I am five. Okay. That brings it down to 27 minus five, Trisha, math, 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 22. 22. <laughs> 22. Of the 22 people that are going, I've never met six of them, never met them in the 27 years because I've been disabled there. I've never met them. So but you I know who they are. I do. I do. Okay, and I, well, think, I think it's, I think it's, it's a wonderful gift that people who have never met me are making the effort to come for whatever reason that I've been mm -hmm. in there. And so I have more people there that I've never met. Then I invited some old employees that left, and two of them are coming. So technically, of people in my department, the three bosses, there's like only other, other, two other people that I've worked with for 27 years that said yes. It's like so insulting. So I don't know. It is what it is. Jolita and her husband are a, a hoot. They, over here, they must... Imagine life living in a car, going cross country, talking to your husband for hours and hours. Okay. And hours. Now here's here's the thing. If you had to sit, if you had to sit in a car with Colton for hours and hours, could you do that? All right, he'd have to change his pants. <laughs> He's sitting down. You're not. You're not seeing no, his pants. I'm not. You know, like he can't have the shorts that Tom has. It's confusing. <laughs> I, you're not. You're not seeing him. He's sitting down. You can't see him. No, you don't know how I take a long road trip. You don't know what I'm capable of. I'm, I'm sure. Pretty much, I'm sure pretty much only disabled from the waist down, from the top. Look at me. Look at me. Look at no, me. but his his when he's sitting down, his shirt is covering the shorts. You can't see. No, him. I'm pretty sure the dog is in his lap. Even drawing. Even there you go. Yeah. Okay. Now, now you really can't see him. So now no, they but just for, for conversation purposes. I know I know t you and Tom on a long road trip. No comp no conversation if I can take the trip to the kitchen with him. <laughs> But could you sit in a car with Colton? We have we have a no talk rule for a purpose, and that's why we play Christmas CDs. La 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 la. That's no she's not answering the question. I don't, I don't want to be in a car with Colton. I want to be in the back seat. 
Now, now do you feel good that you made me say my innermost feelings? You hurt my husband's and my girlfriend Jolita's. I don't think I don't think that hurt their feelings. No, Jolita don't give it. She don't care. Jolita, Jolita, I know Jolita. If I said to her, "Look, I'm dying here for like ten years. I got ten years left. Can I have them once?" I think she really loves me enough that she would say, yeah. And you know what? I think Colton is like a good Christian. I would, you know, Steve, I know I wouldn't have to ask twice. Right, Steve? Well, it depends if Angie got in the way. You know. <laughs> and I bet you Steve doesn't have red white and blue flag shorts oh. and he, he does what are you wearing tonight i don't even know doug, doug brings up a I'm really good point time. doug brings up a good point I'll would you so would you take a trip to the kitchen with with thomas if he was using his bacon press do you guys know <laughs> what that inside joke is about no so that's an I inside joke imagine. i won't I ask which, I, let me stay on jolie does somebody remember bacon press because I only got a few more minutes before Trish has got to make sales. Um, Hi, Joe. We'll talk later. So, Jolita tells me that she's heartbroken because none of her three daughters gave her name, which is unique, Jolita, to any of their girls, either as a first or as a middle name. Actually, it was like, oh, God. And then I thought to myself, well, Mike didn't give me any. Should I be upset? Like, I no, didn't know. Right? No, they didn't. Colton no. says, hand to God. You guys want to hear the funniest story ever? He said he was driving. Colton, forgive me. He was driving. And he noticed a guy on a motorcycle who was too fat for the motorcycle he was driving. And Colton was able to the crack. <laughs> crack. And Colton was both disgusted and amused at the same time. <laughs> then this happened. The man stood up on his moving motorcycle. He kept his left hand on the steering wheel. He took his right hand and he lowered his hands so that the full moon was out, no eclipse. He pooped in the wind. Wow. Clayton witnessed a live poop in the wind. And then the man pulled his hands back up and sat. Without wiping? Yeah. Steve. <laughs> you're, you're on a moving motorcycle. There, there's no wiping. Where, where are you keeping the toilet paper? <laughs> I'm like, poor Colton. I'm like, how has this story never come out on Jolita? Like, Jolita, man, these are the stories that but, people want to hear. You, you did a video record that? <laughs> Colton was cracking up so hard at our reaction because we didn't know what was coming you know like i didn't know what was coming like i was not going to predict a quick one sh one shot imagine the windshield of the guy behind colton i think was in the car to the left colton didn't get the downwind Man, i hope so <laughs> crazy Crazy. Oh wow! So you know, they 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 left. Tom was up till eleven o'clock that night. I said, Tom, you're up three hours. You know, but it was so fun to have Joe Leader and Colton here. I hope they come every time they come to New Jersey. So I think we're going to be like regular players. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now question for you, Sue, about Does the bacon. No. Does Thomas have a special gift from a certain someone in the chat? Douglas? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have it for display tonight. Okay. I've got because... the best friend mail ever. Funny, funny, funny. But I'm going to save that. All right. Little tease, little tease. So, Aaron, I'm going to have you refresh because we're already having a little... So we're going to have Aaron refresh while Aaron is refreshing and we're going to get started with the sale. I am going to share some friend mail. 
that this I got. Time. This is crazy time. What's going on there? Yeah, so it came. Oh, did you did you get a card from Douglas? Yes. I did. Did you get the same card? Oh, I don't know. I just wanted to make sure because it was taped to the outside of the box and you know. Yeah. How do you know that? Cuz Doug said so. You memorized what Doug said, but not what I said. <laughs> I'm upset. Doug, Doug, Doug said it a few times. So yes. I have the card, but if your card is this is, <laughs> this is my tie, my tie plush storage room. Oh how cute. My card's bad. But it's cute. <laughs> it's close. It's very close. Yes. So Doug, Doug, very, very nice. Doug, wait till you see what he sent. I hope you're sitting down. Oh Teacups. That's pretty. That's hysterical. <laughs> Aren't they pretty? Yeah. They, they are. are. They How are. much are you going to sell them for? I let you sell everything I sent you. Why not? <laughs> Why not? But that's not all. But aren't they gorgeous? They are. This one, this one still has a tag. Wow. Oh. Beautiful. Doug Lusso Design. So thank you, Doug. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Look at this. Ooh, Royal Albert. In Country. the box. Wow. Fancy. Doug, you want the house? Oh, this is wrapped up. Yeah. Wow, pretty. Hi, yeah, Nancy. There's a pretty design. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely pretty. Royal Albert. So wow. thank you. Nancy. Nice job, Doug. Yes. Our, oh, wait. our friend mail gift is a little bit different. <laughs> You'll see later. But wait, there's one wait, more. Who? The most the most important part. I got mine. <laughs> oh, that's cute. You know what? It's like that's custom. So cute. But how did you do it though? Because we have it. Obviously, that's an ours too. But how did he do it? How was it done? Did you order it from somewhere, Doug? It's so like professional. Can you measure it? it? <laughs> yeah, I did Thank get you, yours Doug. too. Thank you. Get yours too. So, all right, I'll just show quick apples right now. One of these things is just like the other. One of these things just does belong. Japan, vintage as heck. Roots coming out of its head. Thank you, Apple. I did. It's like, I. I now, what, does, friend, what does Thomas's say? Does it say? Can you measure that for Thomas? You're going to have to wait till you see on the Sue Spezia portion of the show because I don't have it ready to show right now. Okay. But I okay. did have apples. Thank you, Apple. And I heard and I didn't know that you had a birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. You sent me a gift on your birthday. That is like so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet. <laughs> she was scanning the doll. Yeah, the doll has like crazy eyebrows like they're gonna like just crazy eyebrows let me uh, let me show the eyebrows so you see tuesday <laughs> wow <laughs> now i don't know if apple thinks she looks like me I don't know. I don't know. 
all I know is that I'm collecting these all in a little box for my little grandchildren. One day they're gonna come and say, Nana, why are you doll so ugly? <laughs> <laughs> why are you doll scary, Nana? It's not creepy. It's a little creepy. It's creepy in the best of ways. But it says Japan. So it's old. Nothing, no, no other marks on its spot or behind its neck. But it the shoe says Japan and I love it. Weird. Apple and I like weird things. Well, I love me some apple. <laughs> That's right. You redheads unite. Even those that that have orange hair fall into the redhead category, Trisha. Well, yeah. We set the rules. Yeah. All right. Now so I need to have... tell you later on the Sue Speedio show about okay. the bacon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So we are going to get started with the sale, but we are going to start with Aaron. So Aaron, let everybody know what you are going to be doing on Saturday. And I'm going to share the link to Aaron's channel. So please make sure you are subscribed. So yes. So tomorrow at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern, it'll be me, my special guest, Anitra and a very special guest tomorrow. And I have very, I have a lot of very special announcements I will be making tomorrow. I'm excited about it. There's going to be some great announcements. And uh, so come by tomorrow at six o'clock PM Eastern. And uh, so you can find out all about the great new things in addition to my sale and to my show and to my channel. <laughs> and so, yes, that's, I yeah, believe. Yeah. Go ahead and, and show your first item. Yes. So Hi, first Nick. item is about a five by three Tim type of these two gentlemen. And I'm going to start this off at $3. You see, they got a fancy hats. One got a little fancy uh, pocket watch. Fancy outfits. And one has almost look like some kind of uh, instrument in his hand. Some kind of flute thing or something. Look, it's holes in a and the uh, little uh, thing he has in his hand. And he's sitting on a bench. Very well-dressed men. Yes. And Pocket one has a little mustache. The other one doesn't. So, Sue. You know, I'll give the mustache one to Trisha. <laughs> I like it. They look yes. like they could be some like and troublemakers too, like gangsters. Bootleggers. That's what I'm thinking. They look like bootleggers. Yes. So, uh, yes, it's in very, uh, very good condition. Mm hmm. It's a tin type, right? Tin type, $3. Tin type. Lovely good. price. Lovely price. Man, oh man. That's right, Doug. Jersey boys. They could, they, yeah. And what are, like, they said it on the bench. It looks almost looks like, sometimes I look at it, it looks like a toy train. Like, choo choo. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's not. <laughs> I, have, I know my vision's bad, but tonight I don't have double vision, so I'm very excited to be able to read the chat. Good. You see, you got like what, three piece, four piece suit going? Very nice. Tim type here. Wow. 
I am shocked no one is picking up a tin type for three dollars. Guys, yeah. no uh no uh speed round on Friday. Yes, no, that's yes. right. No speed round tonight. So if you want to make a note and grab it before the sale is over, do that because we won't be doing a recap tonight. Yes. All right. We are passing on that. All right. And wow. Angie, let everybody know. And Angie's joining us tonight. <laughs> but My let lady. everybody know um, what you've got going on on your channel. And I will share the link. All right. Well, I'm Angie from Angie's Oddities from Wisconsin. And I'm so thrilled they invited me back. I love being here. It's so much fun. Um, I am, what is it? 26. Seven or 28 away from my 500. So if you oh. aren't subscribed to me and you're going to give me a, you know, a shout out, please subscribe to my channel because I'm so close. Um, but I'm really excited. So my shows are on Monday at 4 p.m. Central. It's called Market Monday and I always have a special guest. And then I do a Tuesday show, Tuesday night on Treasure Scavengers channel. And then once in a while I do Thursday shows and I get invited here on Fridays and I do shows other places, but on my channel, I specifically do the market Mondays and the Thursday crafty shows, which are like two Thursdays a month. So, so I have a question for you and Steve. Okay. Did you, or did you not promise me a copy? Yes. Of the movie. Yes. We were looking for it. I thought I had it. I don't have it. So I want to buy you okay. one and get it to you. Okay. Because remember last I week, I I just slip it between the books. So here yeah. I am going through 13 books, page by we page. We couldn't find it. No, we couldn't for the find DVD. it. I know. We couldn't find it. And um, so said I said, you I had to read a couple copies of it. It's all right. I forgive you. I'm going to buy one for you and send it. I looked through 100 pages looking <laughs> for the thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Forgive See, me. We're freaking Steve. <laughs> did you hear? Oh, you're naughty. <laughs> what did you say? Because what did you good, it worked. We kept her busy. It worked. It worked. Steve, oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. The Sue Spezio show shirt comes in multiple sizes. Feel free to get one for Friday nights. I think I'm going to need you to wear it. I think I need to, you're going to need to be in uniform. Wow. <laughs> What's cute is I was just looking on your link, looking at the Sue Spezio shirts while Aaron was going on. So it's kind of funny. Yeah, don't they that. look cute? That he yeah. has it in black and she has it in white. You need mm -hmm. a complimentary color. Yeah, you and I, you know, pink and blue, black, white, something cute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. He's going to yeah. uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So. Okay. What's you your know, first you thing? For sale? My first thing is three little golden books. These are all vintage. It's Mickey Mouse and the Kitten Sitters. Now this is an eight dollar start. It is not written in the front. Now this was nineteen seventy six. So this was before. Golden Books out of Racine, Wisconsin was taken over by the New York company that bought them out. So this is one of the older ones, Vintage Mickey. It's not written in or damaged. It's very, very cute. The old Mickey Mouse. Um, so he was babysitting the kittens for Minnie and he lost them. And this is a story of how he finds them and gets them back. It's even got the advertisement in the back which I'm sure if you mailed in that postcard, it wouldn't get you anything anymore. But it's in excellent condition. That's the first one. The second one is Mickey's Christmas Carol. There is some wear, some discoloration along the edges. I'm sure this was well read. It does have a name in there. But again, now this one is 1983. This is after Golden Book was bought by New in New York. There's a little spot there. I don't know if that was, looks like a racer market, but. So if you guys all know the, the story of the Christmas Carol, Mickey version. Someone please put in a, a bid for me for $8. <laughs> There's that. And then again, the back page is in really good shape. I think I'm and buying them for Tom because Tom loves Mickey. <laughs> I think I'm buying them for the kids. Oh, uh, Julita. The second of May. Yeah, we're still home at that point. We're leaving for our trip on May 4th. Thanks, Doug. It'd be so cool to meet Jolita. Okay. Mickey Mouse picnic. This Hi, one. 
this one not written on the front. This one is copyrighted 1950 originally. And then this is the, hmm, doesn't say what printing this is, but it is all vintage Mickey. It's in excellent condition. Back page is good. So three of these Disney books for $8. Hi, Lou. Mail it in and see what happens. Yeah, I wonder what would happen because I was just, what is it? Okay, Golden Book Press. It says, oh, it's six. It's 64 of the Disney stories. Those are those big, thick books. And you can, what are they? Let's see, how much were they back then? $4.99 a month per book. Yeah, <laughs> wow. That's a lot of money for that time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> kind of mad, too. <laughs> Four beautiful volumes with poster and everything. So it's the advertisement in the back too. So, oh, so Doug, eight dollars for Sue. Oh, thanks, Doug. Hello, Nita. Welcome. No, he's nice. putting in the bid for me because I can't bid. I can't type. So we'll oh, we'll okay. count that down for Sue. All right. All right. Going, Going once. On. Hey, Nita. Going twice and oops, sod, sod to Sue. <laughs> sod to Sue. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Sherry. Thank you Spelling so much. Thank Hello, you. Hello, Sherry. Welcome in to everybody who's come in the last couple of minutes during the sale. We love to see you on Friday nights. And All right. You. I have got a $4 start on a book. And it is called Amazing Animal Facts. Wow. It is a DK book. Nice. Now, this book has, oh, it's got elephants. It's got an owl. But it has a section on fish. We will not be looking at that section. It has a section on insects. We will not be looking at that section. <laughs> it has a section on reptiles and amphibians, which does include snakes. We will not be looking at that section. <laughs> but just what know section still... shall we be looking at, Tricia? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we allowed to look at <laughs> mammals and birds. Yes, mammals. <laughs> Mammals and birds. Yes. Okay. I just want you to know there are those other sections in there with other stuff. But we're not going to be looking at them. But you get them. $4, you get those sections. <laughs> oh, baby giraffe. Why are giraffes like that, that, that coat just so amazing? Have you me ever fed one? It's so much fun to feed them. Have you met me? I should keep <laughs> everything. Kind of let it tongue not enjoy giraffe tongue. No, no it's I not mean, that bad. Honey, I was just traumatized by a two and a half pound dog <laughs> licking my nostrils. <laughs> How much can this woman take? <laughs> Jolina should have warned me. <laughs> but she did say something like, don't let him near your ears. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know what happens there, and I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, there's right. your amphibian. And then, and then we're into the amphibians. So you can see there's still a lot of book left. We're not going to take a look at that those sections. I Hi, see. Steve. Welcome in. Hey, hey, Steve. Steve. But in here, you get the birds, you get the mammals, you get a really nice DK full color book, $4. That's a lot of book for four dollars. That's a great buy. It's like black. Beautiful, Ain't it? beautiful pictures. Doug, what they're black. Yeah. Yeah, when we when we're in Israel, I'm gonna try to ride a camel. I heard it's a lot of fun. I'm oh, hoping. it is. Is yes, it? Have you done it? Oh, I can't wait. I, I'm excited about that part. Yeah, when I was in Egypt, I rode a camel. Did you? Cool. Yes. 
Yeah, my daughter's advice to me when I go over over um, to Middle East is, if you see a cat, mom, stay with the group. Do not follow the cat. Follow the tour group. Aww. She's like, oh, fuzz. She knows I'll just go. But yeah. <laughs> I'm sure my husband will try to keep me in line. All right. I don't see any takers for the book. We will pass. And just a reminder, no speed round tonight. All right. We are going back to Aaron. All right. Fun, uh, fun fact for anybody out there. If y'all run across a book about um, sea creatures, uh, sea creatures, sea animals, whatever, let me know, and let me know your price, and I would uh, see what we could work out. Four dollars, Aaron. <laughs> How about this, Aaron? But they gotta be the. I'll, oh, let, I'll be let, the let water. her show you those pages in the green room later, and I'll make yeah. her keep her eyes closed. Because I can handle seeing them. I can handle seeing the sea creatures. All right. So here I have a postcard. <laughs> and I'm going to start this off at $3. And it is of Miss yeah. Sarood Ellison. And she was playing Cleopatra in this postcard. So she is an actress, probably in the, like, the 19, early 1900s. She's a this very a beautiful lady. She's in a, a, picture for a black sure. dress. Oh my gosh. You can see like and, the vampire in her. Yes. I guess that's her feet down there. Yeah, she would she would be a great she would be a great um Morticia and Yeah. Yes. Very Halloween. Totally. She seems unearth like, you know. Yeah. Well, almost like floating, like the Yeah, yeah, I was about to yeah. say that. Like you could actually do see her feet, but it's just mm -hmm. she's like she's floating. Very cool. Kind of creepy. Creepy in a cool way, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I dig it. I dig it. Very dark. I love it. That's cool, Aaron. Yes. Steve, what would your Renaissance opening line be to that woman? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Milady, are you cast <laughs> what did you just say? I said burn the witch. <laughs> 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 all right well it looks like we are passing on this awesome picture that is, that is a shame so all right and we will go to angie that one would have been great for junk journaling if somebody's doing like a goth or a halloween book oh that would have been awesome yeah. so if you think about it guys and you're like oh that would have been perfect hit aaron up all right my yes. next one is this hot air astonishing color book and it is not colored in and it's nice because it's white on the other page so if you do use markers and it does bleed through a little um even though these are pretty thick pages it won't it won't seep through it's got white on the other side but this is just there's a ton of different beautiful 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 hot air balloons all right so i have and three questions your start price them. is three dollars okay and sue what's your question the three questions to our friends are have you ever been in a hot air balloon would you go in a hot air balloon or three have you ever gone to the hot air balloon festivals 
You're a yes no, on all no, three. No, no, no. Yes. No. No. I'm a no on all three, too. I'm scared. Yes, I've gone well, to a hot air balloon. Yes, I've climbed into balloon. the actual balloon. We've gone up. What else have we done? We've gone up in the air. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Gone to the so festival. We had a lot of no nos and nos. Yeah, we went to the night glow where they, at night, they light them all up. Oh, yeah. We've done all that. We had two huge hot air balloon festivals in Jersey, in North Jersey. Yeah. On the, in that season. I've never been. Also, I don't like the idea of having to look up all day. Like, that's awkward. If they could do it at ground level. Well, I mean, I'm afraid of heights, but for some reason, it was just so cool to be in this hot air balloon. And the, the only thing I didn't like about the hot air balloon is the basket's only so big. So you've got four people in that little basket. You are close. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. You're standing, right? You're not sitting. Oh, yeah, you're standing. There's no sitting. You're standing the no. whole time. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of heights, but I love but I'll it. Tell you, those, those festivals bring huge crowds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we did the night glow. The, the One night we did the night glow, and then two mornings later, we did the 6 a.m. where they all take off and they all light up into the, or they all go up into the sky together. Yeah, it was Oh, Happy Maker wants your uh, witchy postcard, Aaron. Yes, I and saw that's that. Thank how it's done. You, thank you, you Happy Maker. You can interrupt maker. at any time. Thank you, Happy yep. Maker. So congratulations. Thank that you. is a really cool picture. All right, so $3 if anybody's interested. Cool. All right, that was mine. Thank you, thank you. Hang on over the edge of it. Yeah, no, Denise, I would not hang over the edge of the basket. I was happy to be in the basket. And it's warm because you got that. I, mean, I, I might hang over the edge for a prosciutto and mozzarella sandwich if it was within reach. <laughs> you know, if it was within reach, Trisha. I mean, if I, my arm could get it. But then I'd have, probably have you probably even tuna next to me. And I'd, oh, I'd have to throw you overboard. <laughs> oh that's cool so this is kind of like a puzzle they call it a foam construction kit it's like a puzzle it's the 3d type puzzle. there's yeah. uh, 58 pieces i believe this is from australia so you don't get inches but yeah, when you put it together, you get the Sydney Opera House. This That's is unopened in its original packaging. And it gives you some little instructions here on this how to put age it together. And up, like age 12 and up or anything like that? Uh, not suitable for children three and under. Oh, so it's above three. Okay, cool. Small parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I've never no seen glue anybody or tools like needed. And um, oh, it's designed exclusively for the Sydney Opera House Trust. Wow, that's cool. So yeah, it's it's still sealed. And then when you're done, let me get in here close. Now, okay, so the new ruler does have, oh, it has centimeters, and this is all in millimeters. Okay, so, but it still would be, let's see, 34 would be out to here. So it's probably 13 inches by, oh, it's the other way, ooh, by... <laughs> That's right, Doug. Throw Eight inches by six inches. So probably 13 by eight by six. I have to say the um the architecture of that opera house is so distinctively identifiable. If you see the picture, you don't know what it is. 
Mm-hmm. And because it's an opera house, I never want to work with. But I'm going to allow Doug and you to go on one of your field trips at the opera. All right. So we're going to pass on this. We're going to go to Aaron. Aaron, when you are done, we're going to need you to refresh because we're getting some I don't, feedback. I don't think it's me. Is you it? don't think it's you? Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, but I would, try, I, I would refresh just to see. Um, I'll set this off at three dollars. And do. Is it me? I, I have know. these three photos of these young ladies. They're very small. They're small photos. And so that's one right there. And so you have one with this lady with this beautiful hat on. And there's the other one. She also has a beautiful hat. <laughs> and it's Lise Lancaster, is what it says. And wait, has, put that put that up. She has a beautiful flowers on her she hat. Looks like, she looks like the lady who plays the wicked witch. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's yeah. what she looks like. Miss Glitz. Glitz. So all three of these photos for three dollars. That's a lot of hats. Uh huh. Very fancy. Very probably expensive too. So one picture. Two. And three. She was so good at the Wicked Witch. I mean, totally nailed the cat. You never thought you were first place. Sucked her right in. Yeah, I can. Hi, Sarah Ellie. No, Denise, no, they didn't no. say hi to you. Hi. <laughs> Did you see the picture? Well, it looks like we're passing. All right. And I'll come back in. I'll go out. Okay. Kind of come back in. Okie dokie. You got to move, honey. Uh, my next one is called Beverly Nye, A Family Raised on Sunshine. Now, she did three different books. This is one of them. And she's a, a mom with several kids. And she talks in this one about different recipes. How she it says making menus and mem, me, meals memorable, magic money with meat, save ways to save money with fruits and vegetables, more magic money with meat substitutes, convenience foods, scrumptious baked goods, grains for goodness, food storage, storing fruits and vegetables, um, festive fun on frugal funds, and who can find a virtuous woman? So it's all different things that she, let's see, what is the, the last part? The last chapter is like so out of, like, I know. It's just like, um, how, many right kids did she have? Huh? how many kids did she have? I mean, the way the book is written, it sounds like she had 20 kids. I don't know. Well, her first chapter hey, is. Lemon, lemon. You come into my kitchen and visit with me a while. We're blessed to be given the opportunity. Wives, mothers, homemakers, I can't think of an exciting more challenge than to awaken every morning and teach influence, loving, caring, and taking places in our sunny kitchens. So this is a really happy lady. Yeah. Yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah, my husband would be at, But so cheerful morning, cheerful morning, happy apple coffee cake. 
She's like that before her first cup of coffee. Watermelon pickles. Mm. Ew. Where's Kim? Banana nut bread. Mm. That's all good. So this book is starting at $3. Carrot casserole. Okay, that does not sound good either. Hey, Lynn. Yes, thank you, Lynn. Thumbs up, guys. Remember, it helps it helps them greatly when you leave your thumbs up the and your al comments. Algorithm. That's yeah. the word I'm looking for. Ovaltine algorithm. mix. <laughs> Ovaltine mix and cocoa mix. I, I never thing. thought about Ooh. making my own Ovaltine. What, what's oh. in there? Uh, let's go back to that one. Malted eight powder. Cups, eight, eight cups of powdered milk, one jar of Ovaltine, and six ounces of instant cream powder. Oh, well, Here's for heaven's sake, I can make my own Ovaltine mix with a jar of Ovaltine. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. I Skip to the chapter that Tr Trisha lives on, frugal eating. <laughs> frugal yes. eating. Okay, festive fun on frugal funds. There's nitty-gritty nitty -gritty dinner. I mean, and if Trisha would ever go for roadkill, we'd have peanut to get butter and eggs. Peanut butter eggs. Peanut butter eggs. No. Over Easter. I like peanut butter. I like eggs. I'm not, not putting together. it together. So the peanut butter cookie or thing that you make into an egg shape. Oh, ah. okay. That's good. Oh, it's Easter candy. It's Easter candy. That's okay. Yes. Okay. That I, I can live with that. I think, I think Doug would be okay with that too. French pastry. How to make a French pastry. Yeah. It sounds like too butter. much work to me. Too much work to me. Lots of butter. Okay. German birthday tort. So it's, it's like a, it's a book that has recipes. Yes. But it also has stories. And ideas and things. She talks she about I guess about that woman that had a very popular pod YouTube channel called like Eight Passengers with her friend. And oh yeah, Ruby, Ruby Frank. Frank. Ruby Frank. That story, guys. If you haven't heard that story, she's. A, I have no she, idea yeah. what you're talking about. I'm gonna tell you. you don't she, want to, Trish. Big, yeah. big YouTuber. <laughs> homeschooling eight or nine children and her and her friend had the business to do it blah blah, blah but turned out to be uh all, abuser. all a fraud she was just she's yeah. totally abusing her kids one kid one of the brave kids that was tied up yep got out got out and told and and went and, to a neighbor's house and called the police and they found all the kids locked up and in cages mm -hmm. I don't know what's the a YouTuber. Yeah, she had a YouTube channel about the name of the show was something like Eight Passengers or something like as if they were all in a in a minivan like she was driving like that they weren't like, her biological they kids. Her. Yeah. They were hers. So yeah. she'd do the YouTube shows with them, making the kids look all happy, and she's the greatest mom, and she did all of this wonderful stuff with her kids, and she was homeschooling them. When in reality, they got to come out for those videos, but then they went right back into their um, locked rooms. Yeah, some, were some, were, some, were, some were hurt more than others. Some were not allowed to yeah. sleep on mattresses, like yep. cold floors. Like the truth, all, they, she's going wow. through this very long, that's, uh, really long time. That's but some she was, psychological she scarring had a there. huge following of yep. people that were interested mm -hmm. in her child rearing methods. And, yep. you know, uh, well, is, she had such happy kids now, which is where she belongs. Oh, my. Cowboy cookies. Oh my. Ooh. Cowboy cookies. Ooh. Cowboy cookies. Do they them? have any, like, you know, turd in them? No. Because Doug doesn't do coconut. No, no. White sugar, brown sugar, shortening, eggs, yeah. flour, baking soda, mm -hmm. baking powder, salt, vanilla, rolled oats, and chocolate chips. Okay. Yep. How about um, Roy's, Roy's sandwich cookies? Oh, oh Kim, just, we were just talking about you because there was a picture of Hi, Kim. pickle juice with what? Pickle juice with something else. Hey, Kim. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, now I got to find it. It was, um. hold on. I'll find it. I'll find it. I want to open watermelon pickles. Oh, yeah. water. So is that like actual pickles? It probably pickled rind, isn't it? 
So yeah, it says peel and remove all green and pink portions from the rind of one large watermelon. Cut the white part into one inch cubes and soak overnight in a salt water mix, which they give you the mix here. Um, oh no, it's just salt water. I'm sorry, salt water. Drain, cover with fresh water and cook until almost tender. Drain again and then you put all these ingredients in. So it's not pickles actually, it'd be like a pickled watermelon, right? Is that what they mean? I hope so because... I don't, I don't want it. I've, I don't I've, want it. I know they pickle rind, but I'm, I, I yep. appreciate people who can find a use for every part of fruits and vegetables. Sure. Okay, but that's not for me. Not for me either. I pass. No. All right, I'll ask this question. Who has vanilla in their house at this moment? We do. Oh, yeah, yeah we've got vanilla. Yep. But it looks like we are passing on the cookbook. But if you okay. want happy recipes, this book is for you. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. A happy cook, happy recipe. Sorry, Aaron. I'm sorry. I left you. I left you in the back room there. Sorry. No Aaron, problem. do you have vanilla in your house right now? Do I look like a guy that has vanilla in his house? <laughs> <laughs> Put him up on screen. <laughs> Put him up on screen because he needs to talk into. And I'm going to do it. <laughs> yes. If there are girls that go with names like Beyonce. <laughs> there could be a little girl with the name Vanilla. Like Vanilla Ice. Ice yes. Ice Baby. Female <laughs> form. So you could have had a Vanilla in the house that was not <laughs> Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> Think before you speak, my friend. Think. Yes. Yes. yes vanilla, vanilla has alcohol in it. So. Oh, does it? Yes. All the extracts. How about, how about the vanilla bean that you buy, like where you can no. spray it? Then that has nothing. No. And does no, it have like have... a forever? Is it one of those things that has a forever shelf life? Does it have a forever? Shelf I've seen it at a state sale, like so frosty looking, like you know, like yeah. I mean, I. Have a shelf out there's alcohol, so yeah, yeah. everything lasts that, that. What, yeah, yeah, Do it's expensive, so it might be worth it, but I think it's very it's, expensive. You can't be a baker and not have vanilla. I think it's in so many recipes for baking. Well, true. Yeah. Tom is not paying attention, Tom's not in the show. I don't know what he's watching, but he's not watching us. Which might be a good thing. Sarah Lee oh. says it goes rancid. So there oh, you go. It does. It, it does. does. it does expire. Hmm. Yeah. Use at your own risk. All right. Um, I've got a cookbook. I got a cookbook. It has 500 oh, wow. and flatbed bread recipes. Page 59, please. <laughs> Page 59. Uh, spinach and feta pizza on a uh, thin I don't crust. like feta. I don't like feta. I would like the spinach, but you could leave the feta off. The feta could live with the cheddar on your side of the island. All right. My my go-to 65 is, oh, this is bad. Wild mushroom on whole wheat crust pizza. No, 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 no. We gotta mushroom. get lucky with one of them. Angie, pick a page. No mushroom. Um, ninety-eight. Page okay. ninety-eight. Okay, look at the size of this book. Let's. I know. Let's go beyond. Let's okay, one hundred and ninety-eight. Okay. If she wants to see ninety-eight, you don't I'll yell at her. I'll show ninety-eight. I'll show one hundred and ninety-eight first. Okay, one hundred and ninety-eight. No, you stick. Don't give in. <laughs> well, she said she's going to show me 98 too. What is it? Okay. Flatbreads. Got some. Hard breads of the Middle East. You'll be having matzo. that on your trip. Matzo. 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 Okay. Yeah, you'll be yeah. having matzo you on go. your trip. Okay, so what All was right. 98? 98 is, ooh. Fontina no. and basil. No. Piadina. I pronounce it. I don't eat things I can't pronounce. I know, which means I'm going to starve on my trip. But I can eat stuff I can't pronounce. 
I okay. think it's Jolita wants questions. page 100. Oh, now this this is looking promising here. Cheddar, oh, like and, yeah. bacon Cheddar and bacon that's, stuffed that's, pizza. Cheddar and bacon stuffed pizza. That's what we serve for Easter. That's what I brought to Nicole's house, that exact thing. Remember I told mm -hmm. you it was not with bacon and cheddar in it. You can, the middle ingredients could be whatever you want, like whatever okay. meats or whatever cheeses, but that's what it looks like. Ooh, Ooh. that looks good. That one I could that eat. That good. I right, let's, eat. we'll randomly go, oh, this is, oh, barley breakfast bread and oat love, cakes. Love barley. I don't know why, but I do. Hmm. Jolita is going to be baking up some stuff. Yay. We've got a first bidder in on Ooh, this. Thank you, Jolita. Bar. Yeah, this has got. Oh, bug. oh don't even get me started on unhealthy eating. Margarita. Ooh. Caramelized <laughs> onion, anchovy, and olive. Yeah, no. Nope. Touch your mouth. That's, that's a nightmare Look, for me. Put a red X right on that page. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like a man? Tapenade. What is a tapenade? Tapenade is um, a, a little topping to put on a cracker. Usually like, yeah, tapenade. Usually olives. Oh, yeah, I don't do olives. Yeah. Usually mashed up olives. Of all different we got ones. broccoli, asiago, and pine nut calzone. Now that no, does sound good. Yeah, yeah, I'm in. That sounds really good. I saw some girl put a video of Costco's triple washed broccoli florets this week. Oh, everybody's filled favorite Hawaiian. Filled with bugs. Bugs. And a triple wash bag of Costco broccoli. Ew. Why so, is it triple washed? Why? Apparently didn't get the bugs. Well, I they think that's a selling point. Like, you know, like triple wash, pre wash Like, you know, that they, they you want to just oh, open the bag and Chibata. use it. Good thing she looked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you think three three washes, they would have gotten everything off of it. Apparently, they, they don't know what they're doing. Well, I'd imagine the bag probably wasn't sealed all the way at some point. Okay, but that's not a little cool. crunchy. That's disgusting. Barbari? Yuck. Barbari, that looks good. This has got some great. All right, that one I'd need to know the ingredients. That that Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Wheat tortillas. We we do a lot of tortillas. Oh, in this house. arapas! My husband makes the greatest. I know pizza. these because I watched Encanto. <laughs> Is there ever a Friday night where she doesn't bring up that? That's all I know. <laughs> like every Friday night, Encanto. Encanto. I saw Encanto. <laughs> I love Encanto. <laughs> I love Encanto. I have never even seen down it. For Jolita. No, no. <laughs> going once, going twice, and sold to Jolita. Thank you. Congratulations, now Jolita. I picture her and Congratulations, Jolita. In the car, each with a dog on their lap, with like, you know, the two dogs from uh, Disney that share a spaghetti to kiss. Yeah. Like oh, a flat Lydia bread Tramp. between them driving. I'll meet you at the feta. <laughs> I don't have vanilla in my house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Seriously, Sue, does he look like a guy? Do you look, look, I look like, like a guy? House? Oh, my God. Remember how shy he was two and a half years ago? Yes. <laughs> All right. So here I have, I'm going to start this off at $5. And this is... 1978. This is June the 4th, 1973. Sports uh, Illustrated Edition. Dumb. Wizard with a Knuckle. And Chicago Wilbur Woods. That magazine and is 50. One years old. Yes, and then you had the ads in the back for the gin. And so for the golfers out there, the golf clubs. And then Volvo, 
in their cars. I can measure it then. for you, Doug. <laughs> I think the advertising would be more exciting than the stories because even if you're not into sports, the advertising would be a heck of a good thing in those magazines. <laughs> Doug's gone. There you go. <laughs> Ooh, the driver. There you go. Ooh -hoo. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure they and don't have mustaches. Here's the baseball players. Oh, they got pretty long sideburns, Sue. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> My nephew just got a complete grooming. A haircut, mm -hmm. uh, an mm -hmm. eyebrow threading, a nose hair clipping, and the air hair. I said, how much did you pay for that? He goes, $45. I said, Tom. In the bike, uh, body ball. Haircut. That's, that's pretty good to get all that included for $45. That's, mm -hmm. that's a deal. $30, $30 plus he gave a $15 tip. So I wanted to send Tom, like, go get groomed. I'll treat. Are nah. you being two faced? So. Nah. I don't know what the heck that picture is of. Doug, you need to see Encanto. It's so good. Oh, it's, this is, I guess it's saying women in sports. Oh, boy. Being two faced. My husband just told me that he loved his sideburns growing up when he was a teenager and stuff. So I'm really picture, glad we did not know each Wonder other. Woman. <laughs> Tommy has a full afro. I want to see a picture. You look like a porn star back then. I'm just saying, <laughs> sideburns and a mustache. What the heck? Oh, you you were half bald when I met you. Yeah, I know. You my oh, this is a. Uh... Car gay? I don't, I don't know. know. A car that is. Well, what grade were you in this one? Oh gosh, that was like. And then we got the NASCAR or oh, Formula One, actually. Sixth or seventh grade. What's the difference between Formula One and NASCAR? Oh, good. You had sideburns then. Well, just like the NASCAR the NFL and the AFL. Is that like just like? Uh -huh. Is it just like two different, like the NFL and the AFL? Like no, 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 no. Totally different cars. Totally different tracks. Yeah, yeah. Because the car, Listen, they, they, like NASCAR the NASCAR drives like a regular in car, an oval. A, yeah, circle or oval. Yeah. And a, the the Formula One drives in like a, you know, it's like windy a road. It's like yeah, a it's longer like car. Okay, but you know what, Trisha? You didn't have to say no, 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 no. no. <laughs> She's easy. No, you don't. You're. You don't know about this. Let me teach you something new tonight. <laughs> and I and I think the yeah, Formula free. One, they use different like gasoline. I don't know. I'm guessing that one out one a little bit. Oh, that's true, Doug. Yeah, the movie Coco had nothing oh. to do with hot cocoa. No. <laughs> So sad. Love that, was, that was very misleading. <laughs> the sports uh, car Americans love first. That was the MG. MG. There's so much of the world I don't know. There's oh, so much of the world I don't want to know. <laughs> the comfort shirt by the men's store. Oh. Oh those yeah, those look like comfy shirts. <laughs> My cousin lives in Indiana, and years ago she had tickets, like to go to the Indy 500, and offered like if we could come to her house and we could go. And I was like, no, yeah. thank you. Yeah. No, I don't think I would like that. <laughs> no. <Nope. Some> tennis. <laughs> Oh, back when they oh, darkened. Yeah, I didn't. I thought that was like a still like a a, a, a a recent thing. Oh. Where, you know, the mm -hmm. transiting transgender, no, the, 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 the 
Transitions, lenses. Transition Don't lenses. Help him. Don't help him. He was he was he was burying himself so deep. It was good. <laughs> no, no, honey. No, no. Don't jump on there. So that's about most of the pictures we have on here. All right. Any takers for the vintage sports illustrated? We got the die hard batteries. Just five dollars. And all of the fancy sideburns you want. <laughs> <laughs> More than you could ever want. <laughs> all right, we'll pass on that. All right. All righty. This is starting at three dollars. It's a little different than anything I've ever bought before, but I thought it was so cute I had to try. This is vintage wrapping paper, and I think it's for a birthday, but so right. a and look at the little horse boy and the little Centaur. girl's a mermaid, and she's got a little hat on. She's got a little sun, her, her starfish in her hair, a little lay. I just, I love the, I love this little happy party frog. I just, I, it's brand new. It's 8.33 square feet it's 2.5 feet by 1.1 yard made by 60 acres company in arkansas i'm not really sure how old it is but isn't it cute i just like oh my gosh i want to open it but i don't want to open it because i i mean one of my favorites too is it a little beaver is it a little beaver i wonder what he, you know and then there's a the little dragon there so three dollars brand new don't what kind that. of medication were these people on? That's what I wanted to like. They were on the stuff that makes them happy. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming it's birthday wrap, but it doesn't say happy birthday on it. So you can use it for other parties, I guess. But yeah, um, I mean, everybody's got their party hats on. It, it looks yeah. like it's a party. And it's a happy little dragon. And I just thought this was really super cute for somebody who's going to a party and wants some or if you um, scrapbook and you're going to do a party theme for your scrapbook um, or just gift wrap, I just thought it was totally adorable. Look at that happy little girl. So I had to oh, grab it. I love the beaver. Of there. Little beaver. Then, Denise, <laughs> are, are you putting in the, the kind of medication these people could be on? SSRI. To, to hallucinate these wonderful creatures. <laughs> What's the little boy in the horse called? What did you call him? A centaur. Centaur. A there you go. Yeah. Isn't it a pentagus? Oh, but she's you a mermaid. A pegasus? That's what I meant. Oh, a pegasus? <laughs> he would have wings. Yeah. If he so, was a right. pegasus. But he's a, centaur. he's a centaur. Gotcha. So, anyways, I just thought that was adorable. If anybody's got to wrap a really cute birthday gift and they want to have fun with it, three dollars brand new in the package that is very cute it's got happy yeah. mushrooms yeah it's got the happy red mushrooms it's got a happy little butterfly <laughs> obviously there's some birthday cake or something up there <laughs> denise is letting you know what what you can take if you want there to have your own there. fantasy with centaurs <laughs> and mermaids <laughs> and happy oh. mushrooms I mean, even the, even the little goose or swans or whatever are happy. They're honking along with the music. Oh, yeah. The frog has a little noisemaker. Yeah. Yeah. My, you know uh, what I wish, Angie? I wish some of these characters could be in the races that Trisha has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a bunch of centaurs running. running. That's right. Yeah. I do and, love and, the like, they, they new characters see if tracy morgan can win in that outfit well <laughs> well there is there are more races available but i have to buy them now what now in order to <laughs> buy them you need to I make money to sell. Hey, you gotta sell exactly I can, the peeps gotta buy gotta support I, just, I think i think these yes. swans are definitely way too happy but anyway yeah. my, my go. So. go ahead aaron uh, my favorite you gotta check this out if i haven't seen it my favorite um uh, movie scene of a centaur is of uh what was the movie uh step brothers 
with Will Ferrell and I forget the other guy's name. Larry Riley, something Riley, something Riley. Yes. When John. He was. He had like a fantasy of what I think it was that one when he was like, he was even a centaur. And it, was, it was the funniest scene ever to me. He was a centaur, and I think the guy's sister, or sister-in-law, whatever it was. They were like he had a, like a romantic. She had a romantic dream of him like that. It was hilarious. There, there aren't many movies where you can talk about the funny centaur scene. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I'm looking it up and I want to see what he's talking about. <laughs> anyway, okay, so that, that is now. a very, very small list. If anybody's right. interested in that one, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna boot you from the show. <laughs> Ooh, cool, Mandalas. So this is, yeah, it's a coloring book and it has a CD in the back. So you can have infinite coloring. Yes, print and color again and again and again. So wow. yeah, with the CD on the back, you can you can recreate these and have as many different colorings as you would like to so you know if you've got a group and y'all want to work on the same one and see how everybody colors it you can do that you can print it off and everybody can have a copy maybe you got a couple kids who have to work on the same thing at the same time you know what that reminds me i loved as a kid spirograph oh yeah loved that you know when you're like an only child like toys like that were great yeah. i mean yes i did have siblings but i'm an only child i don't count them <laughs> oh, it looks like there was one page that was oops partially filled in let me try doing it this way it's hard to fan through that with the with the cd right there thank you jolita but yeah, they're beautiful designs. Let me try to get close up on a few of these. They're really beautifully done. But I like the fact that you can um, print them off over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Right. And I don't think it says... Page numbers, no, no page numbers. Oh, 48, full page. Oh, wow. So there's 48 of them. And you can print them off over and over and over and over again. And I like how some of the, these ones at the beginning, they're not as hard. Right. So they're they're good for younger kids. And then as you get... As you get in, then the then they get more like for adults. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that one was trippy. We. <laughs> well, thank you, Joe Lita, and we will count that down. Going once. Oh, what is the mandala effect? don't know i've heard of it i'm i'm not the person to ask for that though no idea there it is <laughs> i think it's we, when we um have some, we have some lurkers watching trisha um the millennials are watching or at least sam is and amanda and they're taking random pictures of me that are not very attractive and I say to you, my millennials, thank you, Joe. Knock it off, because I'm pretty. <laughs> and but a special oh. shout out to Amanda's father, because we haven't had the opportunity to meet. But since you're watching me on the big TV screen, I'm prettier in person, and I I would love to kiss you one day, just because you're hot, and you can wear a but, pair of jeans like nobody else. And yes. so yes, you caught my my face like an old Italian Al Pacino. Um, but I'm really, this is it. This is really it. 
Look, I used to have Bill. 12 chins. Now I only have four. Okay, now he already answered it now. Oh, Doug. Right. Thank you, Doug. Here, we'll, we'll put that up. But we'll welcome in, in, lurkers. Welcome in. Happy Friday night. Oh, look at the little kid. The mandala oh, is... effect refers to a situation in which a large mass of people believes that an event occurred when it did not. Right. Like Skechers, but there is no T in Skechers. Is that the best example you could come up with, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for the for the definition. Thank you. Yes. Well, for three dollars, I'm starting this off with this adorable little girl. Oh, poor thing! And, She's so and cute. Uh, her beautiful round glasses she has yeah, talk, on. Talk this one up, Aaron. Go ahead. Let me hear you. <laughs> and she has a little beautiful bow on her head. Yeah, that's beautiful too. What about the dress? Is the dress beautiful? The dress is lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Zo. is fantastic. Hi, Zo. Hi, Zo. I wish you guys could see Amanda's father. He's so hot. Why can't we? Well, I, I don't know. Amanda, you want to send a picture of your father to Trisha? You're watching. <laughs> I'd like them all to see how hot your father is. And if he's got on <laughs> jeans, make it a full length picture. Their fathers are my age. This poor girl looks oh. like nobody explained to her what would happen when she got her picture taken. <laughs> this poor girl uh. is saying to the photographer, Do I get to go to the party? Is there a party? There's a party without me. They had the party. There's no party. <laughs> she got a little ruffles on her shirt. Becky. <laughs> yeah, is that it, yeah, is it a hair piece or a small hat? True. It kind of looks like a hat, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it's a hair piece, though. It looks, it looks a little like. Like there would be like an elastic string or something to, uh -huh. to keep it in place. Yeah. Like a freaking lemon meringue pie cupcake. I don't know. <laughs> I heard there would be cake. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, Jan. <laughs> Hi, Leslie. Hey, Leslie. So Hi, so Leslie. Good. Nice to meet you. I mean, I, you know, I wore glasses since I was eight, so I have, I have a lot of compassion for this little girl. But you know uh -huh. what? Her mother could have picked a more flattering pair. She didn't have to yeah. use Uncle Al's old glasses. <laughs> 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 I blame the mother. A friend of mine just sent me a picture. She's like, "Do you remember this in high school?" And she showed me a picture, and I was like, "Oh gosh." Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I wore those glasses. It's just, it's so funny to see old pictures. It's, ugh, cringe. All right, well, we will count this down for Zoe. Going Zoe once. Of this little girl. Going twice. Oh, it's taking forever, guys. Sorry, I'm getting the, the circle. Uh oh, there we go. And sold to Zoe. And Zoe wants, oh, she wants a oh, witch hat. <laughs> Good one. Okay. Good and one. So I don't, I don't know if I have your information on that. Do you mind emailing me at jamesproctor809 at gmail.com? And uh, this is email, email me your information. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Well, welcome and in. I got to ask this question now because I have OCD. You chose to put those sticker things on the wall behind you, right? Yeah. Why yeah. are they all crooked? Because I just slapped them on wherever I could find a spot because I was okay, in a hurry. So are they permanently crooked or no. could they be fixed to be aligned even in? Oh. oh, oh. I could if I took the time to actually work on them. 
what did you use to affix them? Tape. Yeah, just tape. So I can just I pull it off. I do not see the Sue Spezio logo. I don't have one yet. Nobody has sent one to me. The minute they do, it's coming right here. The minute I get one, I have a spot for you. Trish is writing it down right now. <laughs> okay, so I it's starting at three dollars again. I have two postcards with cute little kids on them. Um, this postcard, it's an Easter one, so it's got the little boy, or maybe that's a girl. Okay, I can't tell. It might be a little boy. Um, it's got the chicken or hen with the eggs. And then there's a bunch of little chicks in the tree and it says Easter wishes. I don't know why chicks are in the tree. Cause aren't, why would little baby chicks be up in a tree, but whatever. <laughs> um, but it's got the little, little girl, little boy. And then they don't, they don't like the little boy. Maybe that's it. And well, it's he's nice. Like, Stab oh, them with that, that fork, that pitchfork. Oh, he's hungry. Oh, he's hungry. I yeah. hope not. No, he's got daisies in his hand. Oh, it's not a picture. No, it's supposed to be daisies, I think. Like a bouquet of flowers or something. Hmm. Which is, yeah, like I said, it's a weird postcard. Anyway, it doesn't have the line yeah, on it. No, that means it's like, where, where are the are the chicks? She's, yeah. she's not looking up. Yeah. Yeah, kind of weird. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have the line, so I think that means it's older, but it says 190 something, and then it, it's rubbed off. You can't see it. Um, but it is for Albany, Wisconsin, and it says R Raphael and Sons Easter postcard. So that's the first that's the first one, and it's three dollars start for the two of them. And then I'll put the plastic on it in a minute. Then this one, I think this is an advertisement type thing for church school it says we want you at our church school and it's got little kids playing on a slide and it says next sunday is rally day and on the back it's 1934 manitowoc wisconsin and it says dear francis all the little people and all the big people in our church school expect to have a happy day on rally day please come to saint john's I don't know what that says. At nine o'clock on October 14th, 1934. Your loving friend, somebody, somebody, somebody. <laughs> so it's That's actually like an man. advertisement for like a special day at a church or something. Yeah, come in, play on the slides on the one fun day. Then yep. we bring you in the building. Yep. And we never escape. <laughs> and we never escape. That's what I want to know, Lou. Like, why are chicks up in the tree? I've never seen chicks up in a tree. So anyway, if there's two little kid postcards or advertisement is, this one is maybe $3. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Sandy Spiff. Hey, Hi, girl. Sandy. All right. Well, we will count that down for Sandy. Okay. So. Going once. Going twice. Oh, wait, I got to put them in their little bags. And they will come in their little baggies. They came to me in the little baggies. So. And sold to Sandy. Well, thank thank, you, now, Sandy. now, Doug, Doug is finally speaking my language here. There we go. So, beam me up, Scotty, was never actually said on the show. The real phrase was, Scotty, beam us up. See? Oh. Mm -hmm. I understand now. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Congratulations. You just you just needed to talk sci-fi geek to me. <laughs> <laughs> Disney cartoon or sci-fi geek. That I, I get that. <laughs> she knows those languages. All right. Thank you, everybody. Um, <laughs> my next item is going to start at $12. Oh, okay. I, I, had to, I had to read my note again. So this is an original painting that is on here in this beautiful frame. It's really pretty. 
Now I don't, I, this is like some kind of a plastic frame, but it's beautiful and it is made to look like wood, but this is an original picture in here. It is under glass and it measures uh, eight and a half inches by six inches that is the the frame size eight and a half by six hi delbert the picture is six and a half by four and a half and oops does it go it goes that way How did I get this out? I I had this out before. <laughs> I'm like, how did I get this out of here? So I'll show you. Here it is. Here is the original without. Oh, there is a little signature down there. It's really cute. It's like a little it. easier to see the detailing with it not being. Under glass. Uh, yeah, yeah, under glass with the glare really neat and you can kind of see where there's like you know it's like she did it in pencil or he did it in pencil first and then put in like the little watercolors or whatever is used on this and then yeah right down there is the signature so a really pretty original in a really great frame and even though it is a plastic frame there we go it is made to look you know like a really fancy wooden frame it has a hook on the back for hanging And that is $12. And then her signature is just right below there. But beautiful detailing on the frame. That's pretty. So that one is 12. And we will pass on that. And we'll go back to Aaron. All right. So now I have a postcard of this adorable baby, and it's going to be for three dollars. <laughs> and I believe his name is Philip. So nothing else is written on the postcard. And I guess the baby is like moving his arms, maybe you know, moving his arms at the maybe taking the picture. But it's like it, it has a little bit of a blur there, and you can make of it what you want. <laughs> I'm like a let's just say it's an angel. I don't say it's an angel watching over him. Linda's getting more snow. Stop what? it, Linda. Stop it. Stop it. It's the middle of April. It's crazy. Where is she? Vermont. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry, Linda. Oh, man. I hope it doesn't snow for very long. And I love the, uh, like the oval shape. Yeah, he's, he's seeing some things, isn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Show him that uh, woman with the black dress with the yeah. witchy outfit. Or, no, the, no, or the two no, with the hat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, happy maker, no way. Oh. No, we're, we're done with snow. Hello, yeah. Weather Channel. <laughs> yeah. No more snow. <laughs> no kidding. 
It's springtime. Well, the crowd is fighting over the Berenstein Bears. I don't know what's happening. But they're going wild, wild. I, yeah, I I haven't been following it all, but I'm I'm seeing it. They're getting a little more passionate. They're typing in caps. Okay, <laughs> typing in caps. Mm -hmm. That's some serious stuff. <laughs> Amanda's father, are you still watching? Are you falling in love yet? How about if I just like look? Oh, and for those of you that were watching my sale with Jen and Denise on uh, Wednesday. Um, oh, what is her? Let me get her name. Um, Big Little Gal for the afternoon sale put in the recipe for um, Scotcheroos. She put it in the comment section for um, for Scotcheroos. She's got the recipe and how to make it. So if you're feeling um, like making your own batch Wednesday afternoon in the comments, that's where the recipe is. Oh, that's funny, Leslie. And we love you too. We love all you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. That's so sweet of you. Denise is sending the good ones. The real good ones. So exciting. It is 90 degrees, Becky. Oh, glad I don't live down in Arizona. <laughs> well, I don't see any takers. So right. we are going to pass on that. Okay. Okay. Um, my next one is two <laughs> Easter portraits. I know Easter just passed, but I just got these over the weekend, so I thought I'd show them. The the bunny rabbit on here, or the rabbit on here, is all dressed up in a tux or a, like a top hat with red tailed suit, and he's pulling a he is pulling a cart with two chickies in it. And a four-leaf clover and some flowers, and it says Easter greetings. It all depends on how you look at things, Angie, because I see a rabbit on a motorcycle picking up his tail to poo in the wind. And if you weren't here earlier, you have to hear the whole story. Clear as day. Clear as day to me. I see it. <laughs> um, there's no date on it, but I like how they drew the little happy Easter on there. Aww. Although I can't read the guy, I cannot read the guy's name. And what was your start uh, price? Oh, uh, three dollars for the two cards. Okay. So here you got that one where he's all ducked out in in some kind of brown bunny red jacket thing. <laughs> so food <blue> chickies. <laughs> and then the other one is a beautiful cross. It's embossed. And it says best Easter wishes. It kind of looks like this is supposed to be some kind of birch wood. I don't know. I mean, it's paper, but it's supposed to look like that, I guess. Um, this one also doesn't have the line <laughs> down the middle. It says Mrs. Emma something, April 15th, 1906. Um, but there's no postage stamp or anything on it. So the two of these, two Easter ones, um, $3. They're cute. And Leslie, that's life, right? You get some good news and some bad news. I'm sorry you had to put down your cat. Oh, yeah, Leslie, oh, sorry, I'm, but I'm glad that but, Tom beat cancer. Yes, I'm very glad, glad for news Tom. Good news in the same week. Yes, oh. it's the, the circle of life, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know I, I lost my know. kitty back in February. It was hard. And now we adopted another one, even though we said we wouldn't. All right, so those are those two. 
I know Easter's passed, but I thought they were really cool, so I brought them, wanted to show them off. All right, that's those two, and it was $3 if anybody's interested later. Oh, Leslie, I'm sorry. That's so sad. Yeah, it's it's hard. It is hard. It is very hard. Um, my a next item. Pets this year. We've lost yes. quite a few kittens this year. Yes, we have. Yes, we have. Uh, uh, this is going to start at $12. It is another framed art. It's got an extra hanger on the hanger to, to help you hang it. But this is a cross stitch chicken. Wow. Well, that's a steal. Oh, wow. So I'll get wow. in close so you can see the cross stitch. He's a good looking chicken. <laughs> hey, it's Tom. A cross stitch border and then a Tom. nice red mat. Can I have the Pinocchio? Huh? Can I have the fennel? And it is a black frame with silver on the inside here. Nice. And I'll get you some measurements. With my ruler, <laughs> not not the easiest thing to measure something that's a little over 12 inches, but I can do it. So I'm going to say 13 inches. Thank you, Carol. And hello, Carol. Hi, Carol. 13 by 11 is the frame size. And the picture is 7 by 5. So it's a really nice frame. I know my glare is kind of not showing the black and the silver as nice as it could be, but it's a great looking wood frame. You know what this is, Trisha? That is fennel. Yeah, I'm going to have myself a little snack. Fennel. I have never known anybody who just eats fennel. It's like having celery, but tastes better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I have just I have never thought of grabbing a fennel. It's a great and, snack. A great healthy just, snack. And just eaten. It's so satisfying because it's crunchy. Jan says Italians do, apparently, Jan. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so good. I highly recommend it. No kale. <laughs> Unless you're riding on a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we will count that down for Carol. And no, that's a great buy, again. man. That's a great buy. Yeah. Going twice. And sold to Carol. Thank you. I'm going to call that the buy of the night so far. That's a lot of work for $12. Yeah. And very cute. It, that's true. I do, I do like licorice. Do Wait, you like licorice soup? Fennel, fennel tastes like licorice? I don't like black licorice. I don't either. Hmm. Buy all fennel. See, everybody's saying it tastes like licorice, and Sue's saying, no, it doesn't. I'm saying I don't Hi, like Mia. It does taste like this or licorice, but black licorice Hi, is Mia. strong. Well, what other kind hey, of licorice Mia. can it taste like, then, if it doesn't taste like black licorice? Move on. I'm having my snack. <laughs> All right. So, I have these two pictures. I'm going to start off at $3. And they are on a ski trip. So, you got the one little girl here with her big skis on. And then you have this lovely lady with all her bags packed. In the, in the snow. 
isn't there anybody who can help her with those bags? That poor woman. <laughs> That's too like, many why bags. Why does mom always have to carry all the bags? Too many bags for one woman in the snow. Somebody help her, please. <laughs> Ooh, you're mean. You know what our butt over here said? He said she shouldn't pack so much for her trip. He's mean. Somebody's missing the point. <laughs> her boobs are like protruding a little bit. And it's like she's using them like a hand to hold things. Like, here, let me talk something to you. I don't know. You know why I wouldn't carry them. Unless Jamie but doesn't drink, so she's not down. I know, Linda. I know. Well, Aaron didn't know it was snowing at your house or, or he wouldn't have brought them. <laughs> That's right. She has her snow blower in the bag. She's the one that she's the one that remembered to pack everything when you go on a trip and you complain the wife packs too much. Yep. <laughs> Just saying. I don't pack the kitchen sink. <laughs> Just the necessary things. <laughs> Doug. Yeah, we've already had that conversation, Doug. I was I was so mad because I have this really nice suitcase and we measured it. It's two flippant inches too big to go through Italian air. So I have to take my little suitcase which means half the stuff I planned on taking, I can't take. So he's making fun of me. He says, I pack too much. I don't pack too much. The bag's too small. See? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I don't see any interest in these two pictures. So that poor woman, not going to get any help for her bag. We're going to pass. And right. we're going to go to Angie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My next one starts at $6. It's not vintage, but it's made to look vintage. It's called Dolly's in the Trunk. And it's from 1984. And you open it up. And there's these four little, little dolls. And... They're supposed to come off or maybe they're supposed to bend up. I don't know. I didn't mess with it because I didn't want to do any damage. But it's four of them. And then in each one of these little cases, you have to open them up. And there's little bags. Oh my, without damaging it. And each of the bags comes with clothes that you put on the dollies. There's little hats, little dresses. There's another little hat and dress outfit that's still new in the package. Um, so there's one, two, three little trunks. They all have little um, little outfits in them. Like this one, again, is still sealed. So there's a couple of them, and they're still sealed. Those are sealed yet. Some of yeah, them have been paper opened Paper dolls, guys. Paper dolls. Look at these little paper Ooh. dolls. If everything is included, it says one trunk, one suitcase, one bag, eight dresses, four hats. Now, I don't know if they're all, they should all be there because there's, some of them are still in plastic. But even all of these, all of these little suitcase things have stuff inside of them. So there is Helen, Elizabeth, Margaret, and Alice. I just thought, now these are called Our Version of Antique, 1984. Shackman and Company. I just thought this was so cute. So. Very cute. Isn't that adorable? So anybody who loves either 
you know, like junk journals, these would make great items for junk journals. Or if you actually want to do paper dolls, these are adorable. So six dollars. All right, that is mine. I am shocked. I am yeah, shocked. I am too. Because this are is really passing this is really on good. paper dolls. Wow. But All if anybody's right. interested later, let me know, and make sure you guys give a thumbs up for the show. Let Trisha know we love her. Okay. All right. Uh, if anybody loves tiny houses. I have got a really, really cool kit here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? A stupid truck driver just pulled out in front of Jolita. Oh, Jolita, I hope you're okay. Yeah, I hope you guys are all right. <laughs> So I've got tiny oh, wow. houses that you can build. Wow. So it is this awesome kit in this box. And so here are the tiny houses that inspired the tiny, tiny house that you get to build your own. And those are the three tiny houses. And I'll show you in here. Here's a person putting one of them together. So it's got all the little parts. It's all made out of paper. And so you fold all the little parts, you put it together, and you can build three tiny little houses. Now, this is still... It still has the paper around all of the parts. So they're all in here. And so there's, there's all of your stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, well, I'm glad you guys didn't end up in the ditch. But yeah, here's all of your parts and the instructions show you. Here, oh, here, I'll show the back here. So you have the little blueprints to the house and where everything goes. And then you get step by step instructions. On how to do the whole build. That was hard. But this is great for people who love tiny houses. Mm -hmm. And you get to build three different ones. And really see like the inside. There's the toilet when you get done with it. <laughs> But you're building all the little parts. You're putting it all together. You're putting it all in place. And, you know, if you get really creative, you can do a little decorating in your tiny house. You can do some coloring. You know, you can give things a nice wood grain or make things, you know, black or gray, contemporary. And then, and then there you go. When you're done, you've got your tiny little house. And then it shows you for the second house and the third house, just anything that you need to do just a little differently to get the um, other houses done. So that, oh, I didn't put the, I didn't highlight the start, did I? And nobody's looking at the screen to mm -hmm. tell me. <laughs> Don't you yell at us. We were really paying attention to every page. Sorry. Do any oh, of you have 
Potts houses as part of your vintage Christmas things? Do you have any Potts houses? Yes. You do? If you look at one of my shorts of the Christmas village in the aquarium, you can see they're in there. They're in there. All of my putts houses. Okay. I have brick. I have a whole collection of brick putts houses. What are putts houses? Uh oh. I started something. No, I got I that I'm, look. I got that look. I'm in trouble. Let me see if I can. Find if I can find it. No, Andrea, if you see these in the wild, Real pick quick. them up because they sell. Okay, is it P U T Z? P U T Z. P U T Z. P U T Z houses. They are cardboard houses made in. Oh, Japan. okay. Yep, I know what they are. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My mother-in-law had a bunch of those. I wonder what she did with them. Because I, I was going to say, do. my best friend has her whole department 56 layout at Christmas. It takes up half of her living room. Kathy, is it too loud? Should I mute? You could tell me. Is the crunch too loud? <laughs> so those little cardboard ones. Yeah, I've seen those before. Now I know what you're talking about. Oh, that's the end. Okay, I went too far. Oh, there it is. Okay, is it? Nope, it's the last one I did, which is this one, I think. Nope, nope, no sound. Nope, it's not that one. Oh, this is not easy to do. That's okay. I know what they are now. I looked them up. I'll have to go back and look at your shorts and see if I can uh, find it. That'd be cool. Now, how do I make that big? Make it big. All right. Once everybody will get to see it now. Oh, cool. All right there. Whoa, look at that. So those are all of my brick. Oh, wow. I don't remember. That's, I saw it. I mean, I saw this video like, probably two years ago. Very, very cool. All the angels. That's a great, great, great collection. Yeah. I love those plus houses. Love them. that's cool. That's so cool. It is, it's a 15 second short, so it's just right. on loop. And then that's I've got really cool. I've got the little angels and the little choir and I don't know, some other people wearing polka dots in the front there. So there you go. If you didn't know what a putz house is. You do now. You do now. That is a putt's house. Jolita, please be safe. Oh my gosh. Microphone off yes. Delbert, what's up with all you guys driving like crazy? All right, so $15 for the uh, tiny houses. And um, and we'll pass on that. But if you change your mind on that item or any other item that we're passing on, uh, just know we're not doing a speed round tonight. So if you saw something, you think about it, you want to grab it um, before the night's over, just let us know in the chat. And we're going back to Aaron. All right. So now I have a picture of a beautiful young, beautiful baby. And you see her lovely outfit. And it's going to be for $3. And I guess this was for her grandmother. 
There's his grandmother on the back. At least she looks happy. The other one looks so serious. Yeah. Got a beautiful smile. She would be much cuter with a pair of black round eyeglasses with a lovely ring fire in her head. Make her just even. Yes. She looks at the bouts, what you say? I'm guessing like crazy. Six or seven months, eight months. <laughs> Hi, Harry. <laughs> you know, yeah. when Lynn and Donna talked about their drivers. The, the hang, hang on, Sue. Hang on. Aaron, we're going to pass on the picture and I'm going to have you refresh because we're getting a little too much feedback. Sorry, right. Aaron. He'll be right back. All right, go ahead, Sue. Talk about the Jersey drivers being bad. They are, but New Jersey was found to be the second in the country of the worst signs for, for oh. navigation wow. in the whole country. Oh, and it's wow. True. It's true that you, you lost the signs and that we have jug handles and right and left exits and, and at, like it's so confusing. What, what's a jug handle? It's a way to go left, but you have to go right to go left. You have to go right into this circle, half circle, a U, and then you wind up at a light and you wait for it to change so that you can cross over the other side. We have them all over the, the whole, the whole, the whole New Jersey is a jug handle. All right. I, I do not approve. <laughs> no. And Lynn, I drove my brother drove us through Boston when we went to go visit him. We were on a highway for three hours. We didn't move. I will never go through Boston again. He lives in northern northern Massachusetts. Whatever. We will figure a way to go around it. That was horrible. All right. It was. It was bad. Um, all right. So my this is not a cutie, but he was so cute I couldn't help myself. This is a stone, a caveman child postcard from 1917. It says a reason. There was a reason then, but what is your reason you have not you have not written to me? And it says Stone Age Postal Parcel Post, and it's a little guy pounding into a stone tablet to send his message. So now the one thing is, is I think that's supposed to be a pencil, that's pencil. It's not actually print on there. It's a question mark. Um, but it does say October 1917 Aww. to somebody in Michigan, I believe. And what's your start <laughs> price? $4. So if you are into, you know, I don't think it's really a Cupid, but it's just so darn cute. He's just a happy little caveman kid. Love the toes and the furry clothes. I just thought this was so cute. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> I would try to read the back, but I don't think I could. I mean, I've got some of it. I got received your letter, was very pleased to hear, and then don't understand the rest of it. Um, school the rest of this week and maybe not next week on account of no coal. I'd like to go and see you soon. So apparently they didn't have enough coal to put in their furnace at the school for the kids to go to school. It does oh. talk about that on the postcard, which I think is That's interesting. Sad. 
Yeah, I think that's interesting. Um, but it's to Mrs. Adams in Armanda, Michigan. And unfortunately, somebody pulled off the cool postage stamp, apparently. But it was it was or it was canceled, and there is the 1917 writing up there. So I just thought this was adorable. <laughs> Prehistoric is possible serial killer. Mm -hmm. well, there you go. And Doug, I, I like how you can type with a Boston accent. That's, yeah, there you go. That's impressive. So when we get to the letter P for um, Trisha, we can do prehistoric serial killer. There you yeah. go. There you go. Although I do think that if you were typing out cars, that it should be K-A-S. Oh, that's Has. true. That's true. They don't use the R very well. <laughs> All right. So if anybody's interested in the little caveman boy, you let me know later. That's fine. There you go. Oh, Thank you so right. much. Thank you. I just think he's so cute. All right. All right. Well, for all the cat lovers out there, I have got one of these awesome big eye oh. pictures. Now this is mounted on, it's like particle board, but you know, it's the sixties. Of course it's particle board, but it is a picture mounted on that. And it is the black alley cat. And he's got beautiful green eyes. Look at those gorgeous green eyes. Isn't he cute? He could be Little like white him. whiskers. You're not dark enough. He's cute. You could date him. Oh, he's adorable. And look at look at the sad That's trash cool. by the little alley cat. That As is this so one cute. is gonna measure it. This one is nine and a half by seven and three quarters. And it is in great condition. Somebody took very good care of this. That is adorable. I love it. Oh, there you go, Carol. Oh, thank you, Carol. Carol, that is so cute. You'll love it. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I just love those eyes. Oh, he's so cute. That is so like, adorable. I can go home with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I give you that little look, will you take me home so I don't have to eat the garbage? Oh. That's so <laughs> cute. Oh, my goodness. And we will count that down for Carol. So going once, going twice, and sold to Carol. Thank you. Aww. Carol, you're going to love that. Congratulations on the win. That is so cute. In Boston, where they pack the cars. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right, so I took the headphones off. Maybe that helps. Oh, so, nice, Carol. Very nice. She's, she's have, adopted oh, two strays so like cool. that. It's wonderful. Well, I'm going to start this off at $3. And this is of a postcard of 
a little baby in a stroller. This look very antique. I would say antique. Uh, Vintage. And this is just a stain on the uh, postcard itself. It's not on the baby's blanket or whatever. So you're telling us it's not poo poo. Yes. <laughs> and you see the old style carrot. Mm -hmm. And on the this image in the window looks a little uh, spooky to me. I feel like somebody's looking outside. So we got this. Oh, Jolita, be careful. Three dollar for this beautiful postcard. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Ooh. God, Jolita! Holy smokes! <laughs> You are having a rough time this trip. Yeah. Wow. It looks very cold out for the baby to be wrapped up that much. Mm -hmm. But there's no snow on the ground. Yes. No. And it's a, I guess like a little strap in. It's strapped the uh, baby in the Stroller. That's what you need, Sue. You need a seat belt on the side of your bed. So <laughs> when you're so when you're sitting, to me, you can seat belt yourself in. You're talking to me. <laughs> You're talking to me. <laughs> Just double checking that you're talking to me. <laughs> yeah, with a seat belt. Were you trying to ruin my sex life? Uh, well, I don't know. Or <laughs> enhance. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, was say, I, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I need to have myself a family of Filipino men living with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's all my problems. Either that or a couple of firefighters. <laughs> now you're talking, Sissy. Now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> well up up here we have um like junior league hockey which are the the guys who are like they're like Fine. professionals but they're not professionals yet they're still like yeah. the teens into the early 20s waiting to get drafted but you know we've got our our um yeah, you know like the, regional teams yeah. that, that play each other for that mm -hmm. and since most of them come from mm -hmm. you know canada or europe or you know somewhere mm -hmm. else in the country um they don't have you know houses or apartments or anything and so families will kind of take them in they stay with them for you know the seasons you know that they're playing for the team and then you know they'll they'll move on but you know get a couple now that that you'll be retired get a couple of you know hockey players in there too well if they're going to talk sports i'm not interested that's number one well they might. You know, hockey players sometimes are missing teeth i don't find that attractive well <laughs> that is true yeah. that is one of the hazards let me answer the chat. Uh, Jan says, and Thor, and I have a date with Thor on April 29th when I have my next procedure. Nice. So, seeing him nice. in a week. I hope he brings um, you cookies. Doug says, Bear, for those of you who remember, oh, Bear yeah. was the one that picked me up uh, the, the first time I fell last month. And mm -hmm. yeah, he can come live with me. And Linda, I fell getting into bed, <laughs> not out of bed. And I fell a second time two weeks later 
So my house has been filled with. But you were sliding out of bed. Yes, I was sliding when Jolita was here. That would have been that would have been an out of bed. Yeah. Yeah. I just want right, well, a tripod. We're passing on the kid. All right. The, the toddler in the in the strapped in. All righty. I am doing three postcards. They are flowers and they are four dollars so this one says a greeting and it's a colored embossed card and it is That's flowered pretty. yeah it is pretty um it is 1910 it is to someone in hancock yeah i don't know it's to their sister This is Hancock. I don't know if this supposed to be Wisconsin or what. Oh, but it's really pretty. There's the one. This next one, um, there is no like date on it, but it has like all the different languages. And this one's to a guy in Indiana. And I can't. <coughs> Miss o Olive wants two of the pictures here's her address so if you want to know the address of miss olive it's written on here but it says best wishes um hi miss olive <laughs> <laughs> embossed and then there's like this is all in glitter but it's not the kind of glitter that's coming off it's just the flowers have glitter centers and then best wishes that's in glitter and then the final <laughs> one <laughs> Doug, Doug, a couple weeks back, explained some of the very, very strange and slightly inappropriately named cities that are in Pennsylvania. Um, I'll have to rewatch that. No. Okay. This one says party greetings, and it's the color, the different pansy colors. This is not embossed, but it definitely has plenty to read. Um, this one is to like uh, Franny. And it's 1913, and it's Genoa, Wisconsin. I know Genoa is in Wisconsin. So there's that one. So again, if you junk journal or craft or just love postcards, the vintage postcards, this one is really pretty. I wish the colors showed better on the screen, but it is very pretty and bright. And it's all three of them. They all have their little baggies. Um, this one does have its one cent stamp. I think that's one cent. Yep, one cent stamp. It is postmarked uh, 1913. So there's three of them. One, the, the sparkly one doesn't have, oh yeah, no, it doesn't have a little baggie. These other two do. So if you're going to do any type of journaling or crafting or anything, or even put these out for decoration, they are just pretty, pretty, pretty. But my favorite one is the first one. It's embossed and pretty table with the checkered floor. I love that one. And that one is... 1910. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Jennifer's in for four. Oh, yeah, Cindy in Wisconsin, we have plenty of oddly named towns. And it's fun because every year they bring the new Packer players in and the TV station does the how do you say these Wisconsin towns? And they, they show them the word on a, on a board and the Packer player who just moved into Wisconsin has to try to say them. It's hilarious because they don't know what they're saying. And us, you know, we know, and it's pretty funny. So that's how we welcome new Packer players. We totally yeah, embarrass, embarrass them. them. Okay, so these three, um, Jennifer's in for four. Is anybody else interested or we'll count it down to Jennifer? Going once. Once. Anybody else want to get in? All right, go ahead. <laughs> going once? Anybody else? Going twice? Hi, Lucinda. Anybody else going three times? Hi, Lucinda. All right, sold, sold, sold to Jennifer. And Jennifer, I think I have your info, but if I don't, can you please make sure that um, you email me at, oh, there it is, Angie's Oddities at yahoo.com, and I will get these to you. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you for your uh, for your bid.
Um, all right. I've got <laughs> some of these awesome wood. They are on this is a pair. You're going to get the pair of them. They're on wood. They're stamped J50. I think it's J50 Special Made in USA. And they are mice. Oh, are those cute? And they are by Kobe. And I think Kobe is the same person that did those beautiful blue dress ladies that I had. But look at the happy mice. That is so adorable. Oh, and he's got his brush and his towel. Oh, that'd be cute in the bathroom. The one's got the brush and the towel and the one's got the shower. Oh, mm -hmm. is that cute? Oh, the little flowers giving him a shower. Oh, I know. It's just, it's cuteness from cuteness from cuteness. It is. And they look so happy. I tell you, I love all things with mice and mouse and whatever. But give me a real mouse in the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I no. lose my me, me. Lose I'm not good. No, no, no. But adorable in Christmas, like Anna Lee dolls, like love, love, love. Oh, love. Totally okay. agree, Sue. We see a mouse in the house, and the first thing I do is curl up on the table and scream for my husband. Cross screaming. <laughs> yeah, cross screaming. So this <laughs> is only this had is... once. In the, in no, the... Lucinda, it's for both. For both, 12 for both. This is nine and a half by six, including the wood. And this one is eight by five. So, yep, $12. And you can have both of them. Very Thank good. you, Lucinda. Lucinda's in for 12. I don't usually have a mouse problem, Sue, because I've got all the cats. But my right, problem is yeah. the mice get in and then the cats kill them and then they bring them to me as gifts. Well, that we have only had one since we've had Dexter, which is 12 years. And he, he did kill it. Luckily, he didn't bring it to us. Tom oh, yeah. They bring them to me and I'm the first one to climb on the table and scream for my husband. My daughter laughs at me. No, I'm freaking out. She says, it's dead. Just get a broom and dustpan and sweep it up. I'm like, I'm not dodging that. So she'll do it for me if she's here. Not me. Uh-uh. Not me. Nope. That's what we have to that's, do. Killing that's the so mice. Cute. And then Tom one time wanted to be like a friendly kill. So like you capture them and then you release them. Mm -hmm. And he caught one and he brought the thing to show me. Look at how cool this is. I'll kill you. I will kill you. Get out of my room. Take that damn thing with you. Don't release it on our property. Walk at least three blocks. Uh, yeah, because you don't want him coming back with friends. Right. right. Lucinda, uh, nobody else is bad. That down for Lucinda. Thank you, oh. Lucinda. Oh, Warren's in for Warren. Hi, Warren. Warren's in for Hello, Warren. Oh, Warren. Um, since we're not doing... Um, I don't know how long you've been here, but since we're not doing a, um, oh man, I'm having trouble with speed words round. today. A speed, speed round, round tonight. We, we um, earlier had paper dolls that you may or may not be interested in. So if you'd okay. like, we'll break our own rules and show them to you since you're here now. But if you've seen them already, we won't. <laughs> Yes, Lucinda, I saw your bid. I highlighted it up on the screen because I did see it. Um, but right now we have Warren in for 14 for the pair. Those are so And so, Lucinda, let me know if you would like to come in at 15 or higher. And these are on real pieces of wood. Those are so cool. Oh, 
it's blank on your end. Oh, sorry, Lucinda. But yes, I can see you. And I've got you highlighted up on the screen. And Lucinda is in at 15. Yeah, we, we will wait till you say the word out before we stop. Yeah. No and, and yes, Warren is on Aaron's channel. Yes. But hey, whichever channel sends notification and whichever channel gets you here, we're happy to have you here. That's right. Oh, look at Steve participating. You're so cute, Steve. <laughs> we have a little egg harbor. But spread eagle means something different in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, we know. And I used to work with a guy from Egg Harbor, New Jersey. Hmm. We don't know why they call it Egg Harbor Thank in Wisconsin. You, it has nothing to do with eggs. Is it a harbor? Yes. <laughs> but oh, there's no eggs in the I got that part right. Thank you, Warren. Lynn said there are three egg harbors. Wow. And, and um and I am gonna count this down for Lucinda. Bye, Jamie. <laughs> and Good Lucinda. Night, Jamie, and thank you. Good night, well, Jamie. The countdown. Good night, hun. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping in. Make sure you give her a thumbs up. <laughs> and I home. am going to, as soon as I get the countdown done, we're gonna go back to Angie real quick. So get your paper oh. dolls. Oh, the paper dolls? Yeah, I can pull those to, um to Warren. show uh, Warren. Show this to Warren, yeah. Just in case he's interested. Okay. And sold to Lucinda. Thank you. Hey, Warren. So this is what they want me to show you. So it's called Dolly's in the on their tra on their travels. And when you open it up, it's got four. It's got four little doll paper dolls. And they all have these trunks. And then you open up each of the trunk. I don't feel, let me do it this way so I don't lose anything. And what's your price on those? Just $6. to let you know. $6. Okay. It has the little outfit. Um, a couple of the outfits have been opened. And it should, um, but it should, I believe all the pieces are there. I can't promise it because I didn't like, but like this one, all the, all the pieces are in the bag. So then you just slide them in the trunk and this one's got another little bag. So it's got most, I would say it's got almost all the pieces I would guess. Um, here's one that has been taken out, but then it's hat is in here or it was in here. If I can get it out, there it is. So then this is the little hat. So most, I would say most of the pieces are here. Some of them are still in their packaging and, and I don't Warren's think this was going to take them. At six. Okay, Warren. So I'll um, please make sure I get your information. Now, I don't know if these little dollies are supposed to like fold up or come off. I'm not sure, and I wasn't gonna mess with it. So, Warren, if you're interested, there you go. Yep. I'll write it down. Oops. Thank you, Warren. Warren, I gotta Hello. tell you, you are so loved in this community that I've never been in a show that paper dolls didn't come up that you were not in. <laughs> where someone like tried to beetle Jay shit in because they're like, Warren would love these. Warren would love these. So everybody's looking and we we did say it an hour yeah. ago. Yeah. And, yeah. And then you appeared. It's it's so funny how that mm -hmm. happened. So I'm glad mm -hmm. you got them. Yeah. They are different than the ones that you usually get. I haven't seen that collection yeah, like that. This was yet. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a great price. From, so congratulations. It's from 1984. It's our it says the company's called our version of the antique. Yes. Very so cool. one, I may I may have something for you next round if you want to stick around. And this is going to be for three dollars. This is a postcard. And Thank this you, is Warren. all uh, aunt, and I guess uh, maybe their aunt and their second and uh, her son, Francis. Yeah. Lisa's so kid had on three dollars. Those cute little shoes. 
so shiny and yeah. 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 I don't remember the last time I could cross one leg over the other. It's a post card. There's no divide. Long time. Miss Bonnie, I've been calling out to you for two days. Hey, Bonnie. You know Tom is really bad with giving me packages. You had said to me on a show that you were going to send a package out on a Monday. He's telling me there's no package here from you. So either you didn't mail it yet or Tom's not seeing it and we got to do a deep dive. So just checking with you. I know you were sending something for the girls. Did you mail it already? The lovely. Look at the look at the hair. Maybe there's a girl. Look at the hair on the little person. A lovely postcard right here. Hi, Bonnie. It's good to see you too. Oh, she did not mail it yet. You saved All Tom. Right. You, you save Tom a good scolding. So thank you. <laughs> thank you. Because I've been saying to him for probably since the week you said, I'm going to mail it on Monday. Do we have a package from Bonnie? I don't know. Is there a package from Bonnie? I don't know. It's like said Janice. It says Janice is not Bonnie. He's like, uh, Gina. No, Gina is not Bonnie. Well, what would it look like? I don't know what it looked like because I don't know what it is. It looks like it's a package be... with Bonnie's name on it. That's what Let's it looks Bonnie. like. <laughs> well, I do not see any takers for this right. picture. So we will pass on that. Oh, no. I'm not scolding you, Bonnie. I'm grateful <laughs> for all anybody oh, no. who has come forward with gifts for my little girls. That's a blessing. You should see how many boxes are downstairs. Tom's been on a little bit of a shopping spree. This week he decided we needed to have more grabbers in the house. More. Oh. Mm -hmm. One for every room? We've got three now. So, yeah, sort of. Yeah, but it is it is kind of convenient to have them in every room. I, I do have to admit that. <laughs> I can't be mad at them. You know, if it's helping the handicappedness. Mm -hmm. All right. It was thoughtful. It was yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So my next one is three cabinet cards to our vintage weddings. Um, there is damage to the corners of them, but I still thought they were pretty cool. Like, see, this one's got damaged the corner. But this is a wedding photo. It's from the City Gallery Portraits of Main Street, Brazil, Indiana. I don't think they're very happy. To be married. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I didn't know you lost a, your dog. It's been a tough year for our sorry, family. Bonnie. I'm yeah. so sorry for your loss. Trust me, I'm not switching you to Rush. I just, if you know, you've been watching the show. This is an ongoing problem I have with Tom not bringing me my packages. And what's your start price, Angie? It's five dollars start for the three of them. Okay. And then this one says Foster Branson. That must be his name. It is from Kokomo, Indiana. Very nice looking gentleman. No sideburns. He's no very mustache. clean shaven. Very clean shaven. That little young. Like extra clean shaven. I think Layla just... would really enjoy licking his ears. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the perfect ears for licking. So they this one is not shaven. Steve, I am never going to lick your ears, and I don't want you to ever lick mine. <laughs> ever. That's not part of the kink I have in my oh, head. Oh, the disappointment on his face. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you're dressed with the tights. No. no. Oh, <laughs> and this is the other wedding picture. Again, there is some corner damage. But this one, I think, is the dress is beautiful, I think.
So, I and these are here. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Don't have these are like five by sevens. They're quite big. Still, you know, such serious stoic faces back then, but. And even though the camera, like my camera's not putting them in, um, they are in, in focus. I know that the camera's not showing that, but they are in focus when you get the actual picture. Come on, focus, focus. So I love her dress in that one too, Jan. I think it's so pretty. So it's all three of these for five dollars um the two wedding couples and i like i said i love her dress i'm still trying to figure out what's in her hair i don't know if she just it looks like she just took a big giant bun like a little beehive here yeah she does isn't she small compared to him but he just looks like yeah he does look way older than her too i'm just saying child bride she's not a child bride though she's too old i think yeah nothing wrong with a child bride or nothing wrong with an older guy Older guy. oh okay i was going to say wait a minute we got to talk <laughs> so those three for five dollars all right Ooh. well it looks like we are passing on those Thank you for looking, everybody. And, um, oops, get in the right spot while I put in my start price. I've got a pair of linen books. They are going to start at $8. Now, they're small, small in the number of pages that they have. Oh, but they are great on the graphics. Oh my gosh, those are cute. So this one is from 19, oh, 1952 and 1955. Yeah, the graphics on these are so those cute. Ears. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. He's like so happy on his tricycle. It looks like he's he's too big for that tricycle. That's adorable. And then it's got a hen with a bonnet. Oh, look at the dog. Look at that puppy. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Now, you know, there's there's a little bit on the pages. These are these are old linen books. There's a donkey. Thank you, Robbie. Oh, look at that. Look at those little ears on top. Oh my goodness. Patricia, that's so cute. Oh, Robbie's in for eight. And a bunny. That. Oh my gosh. And then there is the back page. Oh. <laughs> I the, faces, love them. the faces. And then the other one you're going to get is this one. Look at those kitties. The ABCs. Oh my gosh. The faces are just oh, too so cute. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, Trisha, those are adorable. Oh, look at that kitty. Oh. oh, so sweet. Oh, look at the turtle. Oh my gosh, is that cute? And then there is the back page. Oh. So you are going to get both books. Oh, Robbie, that's a. Dollars. What a steal of a deal. Horrible. And we are going to count that down for Robbie. So going once. Oh, you are so lucky, Robbie. Going twice. I I don't think you can have too many. 
Not those cute ones you can't. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. And sold to Robbie. Thank you. Robbie, those are so cute. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. You will enjoy those. And we're going back to Aaron. Wow. All right. <laughs> so now I have some paper dolls myself. And these look pretty vintage. Oh. And these, she's. It says joy for her. Then it says June. Jane. <laughs> Joanne and Jean. You can stand her up like this part of the side. And, and what's then, your start price for these? Oh, Ten dollars. I'm sorry. Okay. And then you have her hat for them. Oh, yeah, is Warren still here? Wait till he sees these. And then their outfits. So those are all the outfits and the dolls for ten dollars. And how many dolls were there again? They were what five? Five of them. Okay. Are those the um the Dion Quince? Um, I'm not sure. They don't have a... Uh, what were their name names or... again? Huh? What were their names again? Joy, Jane, Jean. Jean. Joan. Jo uh, Joanne. Jo uh, Jan. Jan. June. I look it up and joy. Nope, the Dion Quint tuplets were Emily, Yvonne, Cecil, Marie, and Annette. So, nope, mm -hmm. they aren't. Okay, so they're just copycats of the yep. Dion Quints. Yep, but they do look like them. Yeah, they do. That's why I was, I was thinking the same thing. Let me put this back on. All right. Well, they are they are quince inspired. Yes, definitely <laughs> are. All right. Well, I don't see any takers. I know they, right. they look a lot like them. Mm -hmm. So I think that they were they were inspired by I'm them. Sure they were. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My next three. One is a Two are postcards and one's an ad, and they all have vintage uh, fancy ladies on them. So this one, I think, is more of a picture kind of thing or an advertisement. It's the lady, it's black and white, and the lady is sitting there. And it says, 
the Marion man. Oh, this is, oh, I should tell you. Okay. Let's see. Lady postcards. This is $5 for the three of them. Um, manufacturer of leader threshing machinery from Ohio, Lee Strobel or Fred Strobel president. So it's got like all the people who own the company. And again, I know my camera doesn't seem to show it very clearly, but the picture of her is very clear. She's got this really interesting kind of white ribbon hat thing on her head. Wish I could figure out how to make those clearer so you guys could really see that. There is nothing on the back of this one. So it is an advertising type card. The next one, I love this lady's like dress. And this one I don't is also an advertisement card. It says buy a package of Lion Coffee. Wilson or Wilson Spice Company in o Toledo, Ohio. Lion is the king of coffees. So it's some kind of advertising card. It's in really nice shape. It says, if you want a handsome picture card, of which this is a fair sample, buy a package of Lion Coffees. Never sold in bulk, a beautiful picture card in every package. And I wish I wish my camera would show them. They are very clear on my end, but I know on, on the camera they're not, but... But it is, it, she's, let's see if I can get them to focus. Nope. But she is, she's very pretty. Her hat is, again, ribbons. So there must be something with ribbons and hats. And then the last one is a postcard. And she is swinging on a swing. Very pretty lady in a white dress with her hair swept back. Um, it does say... Earl Christie on the last one there. Lion was a high-end department store in Ohio. Oh, very cool, Kathy. This one says 1915. And there is pencil mark on there, but it's very, very faint. So it's really hard to read. But this one is from something Iowa. And I'm sure somebody with better eyes than me probably could read it. But it's very faded. But I just love the little, the the dress on her. She's very pretty. The tree in the background. So we've got these three, two of them being advertisement cards. This one's kind of in that sepia tones for $5. This one obviously is my favorite. I love the bright red. So and apparently when you bought a thing of coffee, you got one of these cards in there. there you want to try that? I'll try it. Sure. I'll go ahead and but then I on. can't see, but hopefully they can see it a little better. I don't know if that's any clearer or not for you guys, because I can't see now. But there you go. Right. Nice try. Thank you. Right. So that is the three, three of them for $5. Those are really pretty. They are beautiful. I love the advertisement card. I think that's so cool. I'd never heard of Lion Coffee, but then again, I'm not in Ohio. And this apparently is a, she said, is a high-end department store in Ohio. But apparently when you bought a coffee, you'd get one of these cards inside the coffee. But it doesn't, smell like, it doesn't really smell like coffee. I'll let you know that. <laughs> it smells vintage. So there you go. Thank you so much for looking, everybody. That is really cool. Started in 1890. Very cool. Does this one say? It doesn't have a date on it. Nope, I don't see a date though. No, it does say November 22. 1922, maybe? But it's in pencil. So right up here in pencil, it says November 22. So don't know. See it right up there? It says November 2022 right there. But I don't know if that means 1922 or November 22nd. I don't know. But they are cool cards. I really liked them. All right. Thank you for looking. I have got mm -hmm. a coloring book. This is going to start at $8. It is 62 Designs of Sea Escapes. 
let's see if I can kind of fan through this. It says variety of patterns, including fish, dolphins, whales, seashells, lighthouses, and more. Not the easiest to fan through. Oh, that one's cool. Oh, that one's cool too. Yeah, no crabs. Ooh, seahorses. Oh, that's cool. Oh, sea, or sea turtle. Cool. Oh, that one's neat. Do you see that? That was jellyfish. Wow. Mm -hmm. You missed the jellyfish. Got to pay attention. It's color and look. I'd color it for you. Coloring books are, are like little art books. Yeah. Let's see if I can do it this way any better. Well, there's a koi fish. That was cool. Sort of. Let me try to get closer. Oh, those were flip-flops. Took me a minute. That one I like. That one I like. Yep, it's cool. Dolphin! Sea turtle! Not oh, the that's easiest neat. to do these. So, yeah, so there's 62 of them in here. The, oh, that's a happy sun. Cute. Got a big smile. Let's see, there are several lighthouses that are cool. Um, there's that really neat turtle. I think that one's neat, yeah. I think sea turtles are really neat. There's a pretty dolphin and some cool yep, like waves. I'd, do, I'd color that one, yep. <laughs> there's a nice variety of shells. Pretty. And there's a seahorse. That one I like because I like the jellyfish and the seahorse. That's cool. Where were we? Was the Tennessee Aquarium? Oh, ice cream and some other kind of ice cream bar. Huh. We were at, I think it was the Tennessee Aquarium where they had um, the seahorses and they were all pregnant and you could watch the stages. It was really neat. Pineapple with dragonflies. That's a little different. Yeah. I don't think of pineapple in the sea, though. There is another oh, that's turtle. Cool. Yeah, that's neat. That's neat. Well, but maybe they only had 61 designs, and they're like, ah, go ahead, throw in the pineapple. pineapple in. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Do other people, that do you guys think different. of that one I like? Yep. Do other people think of, well, I guess, okay, the only thing I think of pineapple in the sea is the whole SpongeBob thing. But, like, yeah. do you guys really, like, think of pineapples when you think of the ocean or the sea? I don't get that one. It's a cute little hammock. That I, could do. that I could do. You put me in a hammock, I could sleep. I could take a nap. I, I haven't seen SpongeBob yet, but, you know. I never have either. I never have either. That's pretty. That's a pretty one. I've never seen SpongeBob either, but I can just, because I worked in a middle school. The kids sang that song and yeah. There's another seahorse. And so these are all on just yeah, one true, page. True, so again, yeah. if you get okay. that bleed through for your uh, pens. And, oh, oh true. this is cute. I missed, I missed that one. Oh, that one I like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. With all the luggage on top. See all the luggage. Look at all the luggage on top. You need, you need all that. Yes, you do. I'm telling you, yes, you do. Oh, there's some more fish. That's cool. Nobody wants this. This is awesome. Yeah. Ooh, lots of lighthouses here. Ooh, oh, the crashing water. waves. That's cool. That's cool. Um, let's see. We'll show. There's. Oh, this one's cool. With a really cool shell. We'll show. Pretty. Wow. All right. Well, we're passing on that. Wow. That's so pretty. And we're going to go to Aaron. All right. So now I have a postcard. 
I'm going to start at $3. And it's of this Aww. little boy in his white <laughs> outfit standing next to a chair. The chair's kind of holding him up a little bit. And this will be for $3. Cute. Cute. Love the shorts. Love the shorts. Very cute. So you got shoes on or socks? Shoes. Oh, he does shoes? Okay. Are they boots? Yeah, almost like boots. They're okay. Like they, they got straps on them. Yeah, they, they go all the way up. So it's like, is he in shoes and tights or is he in, it looks like boots. Okay. And his like bow haircut. <laughs> Dad went. <laughs> nice. Yeah, cute side eye. Yeah, Jan, I agree. <laughs> like looking over, like. Are we done yet? Or okay, Dad, I'm listening to you. Not really caring, but I'm listening to you. Very cute. Very cute. All right. Well, it looks like we are passing on that. All right. And we'll go back to Angie. Okie dokie. So my next one. This, I believe. I don't know if it's Cupid or not, but it's a little child, but they have a bow and arrow in their hand. So I'm assuming it might be a Cupid. Um, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, now, how are we going to see this without? There we go, I guess. Oh, there we go. Um, sorry about the background there. Wish I could get rid of that, but the glass. Um, she is, or it's a little girl, a little boy, maybe a Cupid, cute hair, holding onto a bow and arrow. And the the bow says copyright 1897 MB Productions. And then it says copyright down here again, MB Productions. Yeah, it's it's uh, called what Cupid Asleep. I think yeah. is the actual yep. name of it is Cupid Asleep. Cupid Asleep. Yep, I just found it. It's kind of yeah. it's in there kind of. Yeah. You know, camera on my workspace. Um, and so and nice what's your store name. price on that? 15. Um, it's in really good shape. It's in a wood frame. It's got the old vintage nails. So I don't know how old this it's been in the, how long it's been in this frame. The frame a is a brown, time. brown wood, but then it's got the black edge inside the wood here. This is black, but then this is br a deep brown I'm trying to show it to you. So yeah, it's probably been in here a really long time. I know, um, I haven't taken it out, um, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape. But I love the little girl. I love her. I think it's a little girl. So is that? So it is Cupid, right? It says mm -hmm. Cupid asleep. Yep. Was that a little girl then? Because the hair is so curly and stuff. I don't, I don't know, know if it's supposed to be a little girl or a, girl little, or a boy. little boy. That I don't know. But isn't that pretty? I just think it's so cute. So, um. I think the print frame is pretty old. It's got all the old nails bringing in the corners and stuff. So um, it is hanging on a string with some flat nails. And then it's got the little, the, these nails are all the little flat ones or the little, just little itty bitty tack nails. But this would be great if somebody has a vintage type room that would like this sort of thing. I'm trying to get it so that put it that, put that in your bedroom. And as you're falling asleep, you look at the sleeping angel and it just, you just drift off. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, um, as far as what size it is in the frame, where did my, there it is. I, I did not measure it. I should have, it's gotta be bigger than a five by seven. It's a 10 by eight. So 10 by eight in the frame. So the photo itself or the picture itself is eight by six so eight by six and then ten by eight 
So a decent size picture. <coughs> if you have a lot of vintage in your home, this would match it beautifully. Sorry for the glare, but it has got the glass. Oh, there we go. That's better. Um, it does have the glass on it. And overall, it's in great condition. So, all right. So that was mine. Thanks, everybody, for looking. All right. Mm -hmm. So I have got um, a, another lot of the linen um, books. These, these are in rougher shape. So I've got three of them. I'm going to lot together for $8. And I'll show them to you. I'll show them and then I'll show them. So we've got My Farm Friends. And that's from 1981. Babies, mm -hmm. Mother Goose. You can see a little bit of condition mm -hmm. issue. That's from 1947. Mm -hmm. And then What Baby Sees. And I don't know. We'll see if we can find a date on that one. But this one um, is Made in Taiwan. In the back there. And it is just a short little one with animals. Cute, cute. Oh, there's the kitty and the doggy. Gotta have them. <laughs> and this one from 1947, Baby's Mother Goose. Again, the condition is a little rougher on this one. There's a little I wonder, bunny. If you, wonder if you could get that out. I don't know. And I, did you try or you didn't? No, I haven't tried. I haven't I done anything to these. I wonder if you could. I wonder how it would react. Oh, little Tommy Tucker sings for his supper. Aww. Cute. Oh, I remember that nursery rhyme. And then he went wee 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 all the way all home. Way home. <laughs> That's me drinking too much. No, I don't think the pig was drinking. Oh, okay. well, how, well, going wee 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 all the way home. He's crying. Oh. And then there is the last page. Very cool. Then here is the last book, What Baby Sees. Oops. Is that? Oh, there is a page. All right. So that's got stuff from around the house. There is a little tear in the page there. But you're going to get all three of these books for Little toys. Cute. Cute, cute. And then the pages start getting a little in more condition with whatever this is on them. And then here is the last page. Yay! Just say for the day, oh, Lita. That's good news. Woo! She's home. She's safe. Okay, good. All good. right. So all good. three books, and those are eight dollars for all three. Now you can relax, Jolita. Woo! But uh, we will pass on those. 
And we're going to go back to Aaron. All right. So now I believe this is probably a school pitcher. And it's going to be for $3. So you have three of the identical pictures right here. With this young man smiling with a, a sweater vest on probably and a, a tie. Nothing on the back. No real information. For someone who junk journals, that would be pretty cool to have the same picture repeated like yeah. that. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. And he looks happy. He looks, you know, he looks happy. Which so many of those pictures, they all look like they're so serious. That that's a nice one. It's a nice one. Yeah. Okay, Here's nicely done. Very, very, very nice photo. Yep. Oh, I should have The photos is, is, is in wonderful condition. I don't know on the back it says I don't know. I don't think I don't think this is the date. It says mm. twenty six on the back. I don't think it's like it's probably maybe the I don't know. With school pictures, they always have the roll of like yeah. each number. So maybe it's the number of the pick person. Who knows? All right. Well, I don't see any takers for this one. So we will pass. All right. But just a reminder, no speed round tonight. So if you saw something you were interested in, let us know in the chat if you'd like to purchase it. All right. My next one, I don't know how old this is, and it does have a bend in it, but I thought it was really cool. So this is from a hotel somewhere out there. It says, please go away and let me sleep. Do not disturb. It is a $3 start. Um, the, the bend in here is right here. But I thought how cool this would have been. Like, for obviously for hotel. There, you can see the bend much better. Um, you can use it now. <laughs> Close yeah, the bedroom like, door. Right. Like, if you, have a guest room, if you have a guest room in your house, you have a vintage home and you have a guest room, I thought this would be really cool. Um, or if you're doing a, a trip and you're doing a layout in your scrapbook for a trip, um, you could put this in there for fun. This is, um, it is five and one fourth by four. So it's a good, good postcard, bigger than a postcard, bigger than a vintage postcard, but not a five by seven. So, you know, but I thought if you're doing scrapbooking and you've got your layout of you guys at the hotel or something and you want to put like the little door and then put this in there or a bed and breakfast if you have a bed and breakfast and you want to you know have one of these on one of the doors at the bed and breakfast or anything i think this is just adorable there you go jan put it on your front door do not disturb <laughs> you know and i like so i mean can you imagine a hotel where they still would have the wet the wood you know, beds like this. I mean, they don't even have headboards anymore. 
they don't have anything it's so like sterile now to see that i thought was kind of cool the guy's smiling and sleeping and like i said it does have the bend in it but i mean it's still in really decent condition for its age i wouldn't know it really says, cool. says guests who do not wish to be disturbed hang this cord on the outside of your doorknob and then on the bottom it says john willie Comper company evanstown illinois form 21. So I thought, what a cute thing to like, if you have a like a country home or a bed and breakfast or a little uh, vintage home to put this on the guest door, the guest bathroom, the guest bedroom, whatever. Um, I thought that would be really cute. So $3 on that one. That was mine. All right. And I've got one more linen book I decided to go ahead. It's like, I'm not going to save it for another sale. I'm just going to bring it. Um, but this one, one book all the way through, it's going to be $7 start. And this is animal friends for baby. Aww. And Oh, it does have a date on it. Uh, 1954. Printed with non-toxic inks. So who are the friends? Well, the bunnies. Oh, cute. And the calf. The squirrel. The deer. Ah, so cute. The puppies. They're <laughs> playing. Cute, cute. And the ducks. They don't have kitties? They don't have kittens? Oh, no. No. Hold they on. They don't have kittens. Oh, I, I don't think so. <gasps> oh, we that's cute. No. Pony, that's cute. And a rooster. <laughs> I don't know why you would put a rooster and not the baby <laughs> kittens. It's like everything yeah. is a baby except the rooster. The rooster. Yeah, the, what's bunnies, that? the calves. You make sure I didn't miss a page. The squirrel, the deer. Yeah, those all look like babies. The puppies, the ducks. The ducks yeah. Yeah. The yeah, a rooster. That's weird. I want my money back. This is a <laughs> there's an error in the print here. Who yeah. authorized this? This is like Elf when the last two pages of the book are aren't aren't there. Yeah. Like, you can't you can't do that. You can't do that. All right. Well, roosters are not like the baby I mean, animals. Roosters are back. cool, but you know, <laughs> but the other ones are a little cuter. They are cute. They are definitely so seven dollars. For that one. Very adorable. Go down All down. right. We yeah. will pass on that. All right. That's fine. And we're going to go back to Aaron. All right. Now I have a postcard of this little girl for $3. Oh, she looks for happy. Yes, with her dress on. And she's sitting on almost like a rug on, on something. <laughs> And on the back of here, it says Defender. I don't know if that's maybe the name of the company that made the postcard. And a uh, very beautiful smile.
<laughs> yeah, I think you might be right, Jan. She does have a very Sue look to her, doesn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I am not seeing any takers. And that's really super cute. Baby's happy. So we will pass. We'll go back to Angie. All righty. So this I have in a plastic bag because the front cover is off, but it was too cute to pass up. So this is the Three Bears. It's an old vintage copy, and it was free with a box of... Malena, whatever Malena Malena is, whatever it is. So um, it is booklet number 104. Hold on, let me move the cat. Come on. Everybody doesn't need to see your rear end. All right. Um, so the cover is coming off. Just, you know, but it says Mal Malena, Malena cures, relieves ba for babies and all this. It says try a box for only 15 cents. So then you've got the Three Bears book. There's the colored picture in there. And then the back cover also came off, but it's like pretty shocking. Like if you don't take our if you don't take our tablets, you're gonna get worms or something. <laughs> it's like okay. And then it says. Looking for babies, try Malena. Millions of uses, chaps, cuts, sunburns. So this was some kind of advertising booklet back in the day, I guess. There's a little damage there. This is $3, $3. Yeah, there's a couple really cool illustrations. Like I, this one, and like I said, this book is in really rough shape. I can't imagine how old it is because I could not find a date on it at all. I loved this one with the little bear playing. So there's several, let's see one. Oh, this one, little bear's playing and they're up. I'm gonna take the cover back off. Hold on one moment. Okay. Um, this is very, very, very delicate. So when you get it, I'm gonna have it between two pieces of cardboard. Lulu, I know you wanna spend time with me, but you've gotta go down for a while. Okay. Um, so yeah, it is the Three Bear story. And then it's got those pictures. And like on all the pictures, then there's also these advertisements. Milena's also for stomach liver. Buy a box for 25 cents. No risk guaranteed. So yeah, so it's an advertisement book and a storybook. The picture, the vintage pictures are awesome, but the cover is damaged. So this is $3. Yeah, basically snake oil, Jan. Yep. <laughs> but it is real. I mean, like this one, it says, be devoured by worms. Your children could have the worst fate for millions of boys and girls. Oh, my. Malina worm, worm tablets. It's oh. like, okay, that's a little crappy graphic. That's kind of freaky. That's, yeah. Yeah. So there is some really interesting and kind of scary graphics. I mean, this is the back of the book of the three bears. They're all like angry and crying or whatever. I don't know. So $3. It's pretty interesting. The <laughs> graphics on the pictures are interesting. Um, but it is in rough shape. But I figured anybody who does um, junk journals, this may be a really cool item for a junk journal. Mm -hmm. That's why I didn't, I didn't just leave it behind because yes, it's in rough shape, but man, does it got the cool pictures. Well, I am not seeing any takers. So if anybody's interested later, let me know. Three bucks. All right. All right. I've got a book and it's from a pretty popular show. Downton Abbey. This is the official companion to all six seasons. 
It's a beautiful hardbound book. And let's see, it was originally $30. It's got all kinds of pictures and of all the characters, all the episodes, all the seasons. It's an awesome book. It's got some nice full page pictures in here. Ooh. And this has, oh, oh, that's a nice picture in the back. Wow. Got everybody there. And is there a page number? No, not there. Let's see, 316.70. It's about 320 pages. And it's really nice, thick paper. Um, let's see, this came out in 2015. Ooh, almost 10 years ago. Yikes. But yeah, really beautiful hardbound book. And that is $10 for the Downton Abbey book. That would make a nice gift for somebody who's really into that show. Mm -hmm. Like a Mother's Day gift. Like, you know, your mom really likes that show. That would be a great gift. Because the pictures are just beautiful. So, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's put together really well. The final movie is being made. No, I've never seen an episode of Downtown Abbey. What is it? Downton. Sorry. I've never actually Yeah, they're not downtown. <laughs> oh, downtown. Okay. Now I see the word. I see it. Okay. Close. <laughs> uh. So that one, $10, 320 pages. It's in really nice condition. Wow. All right. We'll pass on that. And we'll go back to Aaron. All right. So I have two postcards. There's no divide on, on them. But they're also, they're the, basically the, they're the same postcard of this Aww. little girl. Oh, Doug. That's a little harsh, Doug. <laughs> Oh, Doug, I beg your forgiveness. Oh, Doug, use that little angel thing above your head and forgive me. Here's what needs to happen, Angie. Forget about the Renaissance. You have to dress in those wardrobes. Doug, forgive me. I would love what's that. Something? What's the snack, Aaron? What's what's the oh. snack in, in that she's eating? Oh, it's for $3, too. My fault. Okay. Um, Looks like a cookie. Yeah, yeah like I said, see, I cookies. We got milk and cookies. You got nice. Milk. That sounds like a great snack. Oh my gosh, I wish we had uh, cookies in this house. Um, we don't. <laughs> Jan. Doug, they're, they're probably not peanut butter cookies, Doug. Did we eat all the Girl Scout cookies that kid brought over? I don't even remember. I don't even know. <laughs> Just pull the halo down on the <laughs> I know, Doug. Yeah. Doug gets snark number one for that one. Oh, Doug, <laughs> just forgive me. I, I, I'm so uneducated. I just don't know. He loves me. He just won't admit it. <laughs> Can you imagine like those really cool, um, see like that to me, like is a cool thing for a kid to play on or whatever, but now they consider those so dangerous. Like they have to have all the protection and stuff. Our parents just said, yeah, go out in that rolly stroller thing, have fun. 
<laughs> she's cute though. She looks like she's giving somebody a dirty look. Yeah. <laughs> a little side eye. Yeah. Like, don't get near me. I've got my cookie. <laughs> Well, I don't see any takers. All right. So we will pass. Is it that good, that. Doug? I have to go watch it. Okay. I watched a few like little snippets on Facebook or on YouTube of that. What was it? Kiss me, Kate. The one that she and me. Me. Maybe there's like I have to watch the whole movie to understand it. Obviously. Yes. But I agree about the tights. And the colors. What was that with the colors? It was like Technicolor or something. Yeah, like it is. It, it, it like, is. It's orange very color. colorful. Yeah. Like, like That's the first thing I noticed. Over like, the top color. Like pink and orange don't usually go together, but this was very... So well, I haven't seen the whole thing. In the 70s, they did. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I was little in the 50s. 70s. It's 1950s. Yeah, no, so I, I pink and orange need... don't go together, but there was so much pink and orange together in the 70s and like oh. hippie clothes and pink and orange. <clears throat> but the challenge was to get through it and decide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't gotten through it. I just went and took a couple of peeks of a couple clips just so I had no know, know what you guys were talking about. So now Doug is telling me I have to do down Downton Abbey. I agree. I it was one of the best series of all time. Really? I've never seen it, so I don't get a lot of TV time between my my other job, this job, and spending don't time. Don't you go to the bathroom? Trisha and I watch ten minutes at a. We watch. It takes us a year to watch a series because we watch. <laughs> I don't. I don't watch in the bathroom. I was gonna say that uh, would be my your ten minutes is in a different place than my ten minutes, but it's the same theory. <laughs> that would be my husband. He goes into the bathroom. It's like a black hole. He'll come out in twenty minutes or something, and I'm like, "What were you doing in there?" But me, no, I, I don't seem to watch TV in the bathroom. So you saw to poop in the wind like that motorcycle driver. <laughs> oh, that's just, oh. No, oh, thank you. I'll pass. No, I prefer toilet paper. Okay, my last one is seven vintage Christmas cards. And they it is a starting price of $8. These are all the religious ones that came in this group that I bought. Um. This one, I don't have a date on it, but it's got like a glossy cover on it. Like it's, I don't know. It's like a, but it's definitely got definitely plenty to read if you can read all that. The next one is Sincere Christmas Greetings and it's the Three Kings. And this one is dated 1922. It has its one cent stamp on it. And again, honey, yeah, I think okay. you need to keep the one with the camels. <laughs> And then insert your heads on them and make them your Christmas card from you and Steve this year. You, Santa, oh. and Steve on the head of the camera. That would be great. Yeah, That's, we survived. That, you got, yeah, don't, don't sell that one. <laughs> this one is a black and white, and it's got a Christmas poem typey thing on the bottom. What I liked about this one is look at that cool post, um, the postage stamp. It's like three trumpeters or something. It says 1926. I really wish I could get my camera to focus. Um, 1926, and it's from Richland Center, Wisconsin. And it's got the, is that a one cent stamp? It's a two cent stamp. And then like this Christmas trumpeter stamp. And then this one, they're walking along somewhere with the baby and an angel appears. And it says compliments of the season. There is nothing on the back of this one though. This one says printed in Germany. Oh, wait, upside down. There you go. And then this one's a pretty angel in a red type gown with the... Um, she looks like she's got sciatica like me. That's what I'm walking like, <laughs> all hunched over with my yep. cooling on. It says Christmas greetings know. and it's 1910. Well, the stamp is 1910, the postage thing, but then the date on it is 1911. So December 23, 1911, but the postage says 1910. So either... The person didn't know the year or something, but well, they waited when, to mail it. The year changed in the middle of December to January. That's yeah. why. So they mailed it out really late. Let's see. December 24th, they mailed it. Mm -hmm. December 24th, 1910. Mm -hmm. The next one is, I guess that's Mother Mary and Jesus. 
And it says, may the sweet story of the peace of bring to you the Christmas day. This one is also, oh, it is written on. It says Sydney and Bernice at the bottom. <laughs> uh -oh. Now we snarking on Steve. Don't snark on Steve. Sue likes Steve. We can't snark on Steve. And my husband's like, yeah, you can. Come on, bring it on, dog. <laughs> this one is postmarked 1914. And it's, I guess, Mother Mary and the baby. That is a very white baby for Jesus. Anyway, um, so it's it's seven postcards for eight bucks. They're all about 19, 10 to one, two, three, four, five, six. Did I miss one? Are you laying on one? No. What does it say? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, it is. I did count right. I can count. Okay. Seven of them for eight bucks. If anybody's interested, let me know. All right. And they do have their little plastic thingies, which I'll put back on them later. I don't want to do that again. All right. There you go. Thank you, everybody, for looking. All right. And I've got a book for $8. And for people who like true adventures and strange true stories, this is Tales of Real Adventure. And it says, oh, that's, let's see. In here, which this came out in, oops, I don't know. Nope, still don't know. Let me check the back. 1996. It was printed in Spain. And so if you're if you need to survive something, this is a good book to have with you. So um let's see, this was a a submarine. And let's see, submarine hit the bottom of the sea. And it looks like they spent 75 days in the submarine until they were rescued. But they were sitting at the bottom of the sea and then they had to rescue them. And then the Hindenburg's um, hydrogen problems. What yep. do you think the, the gossip was like at the bottom of the sea for the people that were sitting there for 75 days? You had to have your calm ones like Denise that'd be like, it's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to have maybe your Trishas that are going to be like, let's go to the food pantry and stock up. <laughs> and then you're going to have me on my scooter go up and down. Did you hear what Betty said? Betty said this about Alice. Alice, Alice smells like fish. <laughs> So each one of these stories is, you know, somebody's um, crazy adventure and what happened to them. Um, one of the things I noticed that they had in here was the um, the Antarctic guys um, that, you know, the plane. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to find it again in here. No, the ship, like the first ship that went up into the Antarctic and got stuck. Um, and then the guys had to trek out. Right. Um, what was it? Shackleton, Shackleford. Shackleton was the head of the... Well, you know about Antarctic. it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's, it's been... Of course he does. Why am I asking? Yeah. Wait, Is this it? it? Oh yeah, this is this is it. Yeah. They were the ship got caught in the ice and then the ice crushed it. And um 
some of them went to get help and the others stayed behind. And what they did is they took the two lifeboats and then they were able to live in there for 135 days. I would so lose my mind. Mm. Bad. Yeah, that would not. Yeah. So they, and then, and then they were rescued. So ama amazing adventures like that are all in this book. And uh, so that is $8 for the book. But yeah, there's spies in here and all kinds of crazy adventures of survival. We you, Jan, Who knows? And hope you, feel you just might lose or you might you might need something to not lose your life. Aw. Uh, something nice, so Jan. that book. Yeah, that that's a that's a fun like yeah like, true adventures Good like night, Jan crazy stories of like survival and stuff. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yep. All right. So that was the last item of the sale. What? So again, there's no no recap. Um did I miscount? No. I got mine all in. Okay. Uh, I got all mine. <laughs> Oh, this sounds like it's time for the Sue's Bezio show. Well, before that, we have to do a few things, right? So let's uh, let's do some games, some races, to uh, to see how Tracy Morgan fares tonight. <laughs> Are you and with then, us, Tracy? <laughs> doesn't matter. She's got a bank account here. <laughs> Watching the friends, and I, I'm I'm teasing you in fun. I really like. It was amazing that you took the tri trifecta last week. Like just like yeah. just so freaking funny, <laughs> especially the one time that you came from like the tail back and you're like, move over. Here I am. Don't you know I'm the winner? <laughs> so Trisha is gonna take it, and uh, all right, gonna need a, a number for Trisha on the first one. Anybody want to give a number for the shuffle? Right. So the first one is the members appreciation drawing. So in appreciation for all the members on my channel, I do a drawing each week. If you would like to become a member on my channel, you can click the join button and um, oh, Kathy and I agree. Three. Mm. All right. All right, so let's get that up there. And then um, every week I do I do this appreciation race. This one is a two minute one, guys. So we don't ever really know till the tail end. It's and very yeah, misleading. That's very right. misleading. It's an exciting race. And she's shuffling. Yes. Two. Three. Go, 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 go. I love the cheering in the back. Go, go. <laughs> see, Sharon, see, you don't have a chance. You're winning. <laughs> That's the trick. But, but people, have, people have come, come back in. Look at Tom. Look at Tom in his tuxedo or something dressed as a penguin. <laughs> Here comes Jan making a move. Oh, Sue Spezio in the front lane of the pack. The Sue Spezio show. Who's got the curly white curls? Irish girl. I love that headpiece. She's no, a judge. Yep. <laughs> Here comes the judge. Doug's Woody the Woodpecker in life, too. <laughs> Sandy Spiff. Oh. Bonnie's in the Yolita. Got some headliners 
Can Uh-oh. they hold it though? Can they hold it? Not with that and much time, I don't think. Tom, get your ass in gear. Go, go, Tommy. Go, Tommy. Nope. Go away. He's trying to break out from the path. Yeah, yeah, come on, Tommy. Paddle, paddle, paddle. Paddle, Tommy, paddle. Is he dragging Oh, here one? comes Sue Spezio. Either one is a win for me. <laughs> <laughs> either one. I'll take either one. But it's, you know, he's happier if he wins. Oh, there oh, goes Daniel. No. There it goes. There it goes. Daniel Davis taking that lead. She's got a big lead. Oh, here comes Doug. Doug. Oh, Doug. Doug. Here comes Doug. Doug. Look out. Whoa. Look out. He came out of nowhere. Wow. Oh. Woo, Doug. Ooh. See what wow. happens when Jen's not here to trip you. You win. Wow. <laughs> somebody, text, somebody text Jen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Congratulations, Doug. Congratulations, Doug. All right. <laughs> so the next race is for everybody who left a comment on a video. So every day I put out a video. And if you leave a comment, you will get an entry. And each day you leave a comment on a video you will get an entry. So you will see the same name multiple times. So somebody give me a number and we will get this shuffled. Don't be shy. Type in a number. Oh. Oh, Kathy. Like Thank you, Kathy. I would yell at them and like from what not say, don't sleep, don't sleep. All right, shuffle in there. four times. One, two, three, and four. And they're off. They're off. This one's so fast. Yeah. Come, yeah. Oh, Tracy's crying. Aw. Oh, Danielle again. There you go, Danielle. You just got a good lead. Yeah. Could be. Could be. Could be. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Look at Angie. Look at Angie. Uh -oh. oh, everybody's coming. And, oh, my gosh. Oh, no dead. way. No, no way. No How way. did that happen? Dogs taken no too. Way. Are we going to have another trifecta tonight? Doug. Congrats Ooh. again. Ooh. Now he can't accuse you of rigging it. because it It's not rigged. It's not rigged. <laughs> All right. The next one is for everybody who left a comment on a live. And that is the you cut out for a second for everyone who left a comment on what, hun? On a live. On a live. Okay. Wow. Yep. On a so live a sale. For these little oh. leprechauns who would like to wow. put a number in for this one. Play. Play with us, guys. Come on. Anybody put in a number in the chat. Put in a number. <laughs> uh-huh. Kathy says one. One. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> or two, Doug says. <laughs> nope. Or two. You're too late, Doug. Yeah, I don't know if we should take a number from Doug. He seems to be knowing what's going on here. <laughs> Let's see. These names are a little harder. Let's see. Randy, I think so far. Yeah, I think so. Oh, Down someone's coming up at the top. Who's, who's making the top? Move? Who's making oh, the it's, move? Oh, it's Randy oh, again. Randy. 
Oh, oh, oh we got Tracy. movement. Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> got it. A purple-faced leprechaun like Barney. How cute. <laughs> Tracy, oh, I you thought, still got the wins I thought Randy in you. was going to beat Randy for that one. Yeah, I did too. There you go. All okay. right. Now, I need a number for the next one. Is it the Santas? Yes. Then I'm going to give the number two for my twins on the Santas. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sue has spoken. <laughs> Which one is this one? Shuffling twice for Sue. Is this for the shorts? Yes, this is for comments left on Hi, the Christy. shorts. Christy Bean, just in time for late night fun. Hi, Christy. This is so fast. The Santas are the fastest, I think. Kim. Kim, can you hold it? Tracy might. I don't know. Linda's also looking good. I know. Linda's up there. Six seconds. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. someone else is pulling up. Oh! Linda! Linda. 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 Hey, Linda. Congratulations. Awesome. I love the Santas the best. All right, now I have to set up the last one for everybody with the packages. So the last race, you um, as I put out the videos, I do a count of all the packages that are going out that day. When you watch Monday through, it's actually Saturday, but, <laughs> but like Monday through Saturday yeah, or Friday, you add up all the packages, you put that on the community tab post that I have up each week. And um, I am gonna set up the race with the people. Oops, let me get that. With the people that have the number and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six people, including someone new. Ooh, good. I wonder who it's gonna be. And then you guys let me know if you want me to shuffle or not shuffle. I'm always going to vote for a not shuffle on this one. I like to just see it play out. What do you guys <laughs> want to do? Sounds Aaron, good to me. We're going to go with a no, a no shuffle no for the few people who are true watchers. The cream of the crop. The top of the heat. New York, New York. Oh, I'm singing the song. <laughs> Let's see who they are. Right. We've had Angie before. We've uh who is the new all right. Well, I am going to just push start. Who's the new all one? Right. And here we go. Is Kim the new one? So we've got Tracy, Tracy Morgan. We've got Becky's Vintage, Oh My Vintage, Angie's Oddities, Doug K, and Truly Amazing. Oh, I don't know that person, but I bet you they're truly amazing. <laughs> they're all in a row. All uh, ducks uh, lined uh, up. Tracy, Tracy's got it. Tracy, oh, Tracy. And the world is as it should be. Congratulations <laughs> to all, all, all of tonight's winners. And thank you to Trisha for doing that every week. It yep. shows your appreciation to our friends. And we thank you deeply for doing that. Yes. Thank um, you, everyone, for leaving your comments. I appreciate it. And we appreciate you. But you know what it's time for now? No. The Sue's Bees Yo Show. Um, I'm going to do my friend mail first. So I showed okay. this early in the show, but maybe you weren't here. So this friend mail came from Apple Martini. And it's a little vintage redhead from Japan. 
with freckles and blue eyes, might look like somebody you know, and and balding, which is also no. <laughs> but isn't this so cute? Thank you, Miss Apple. And then we got friend mail from Doug. And this is a doozy. So let's see. Let me get the box because this, there's a few things in it, as was Trisha's. So I'm going to start with the one that Trisha got as well, which I'm amazed by. Doug found a place that engraves rulers. And it says, can you please measure this for Thomas? Oh, there's no please. Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. Okay. Double vision, triple vision. Can but you measure it for Thomas? Now it's official. Tricia has an official ruler, as do I. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not really mine, it's his. But I don't know. Like, I want to know, how did you do this? It's so cool. It is so cool. Look, guys, it's it's actually great. It's, it's, it's not stuck on, like, with tape. It's was made. Yep. I'm going to spend money. Thank you, Doug. And because he knows... Mm -hmm. Mr. Tom has a million collections, and one of them that you may or may not know is Campbell's Soup. Look at this little beauty. Oh, Isn't that cute? cute. It's actually a, a tin, a double tin, so you can put high things in there, or the front caboose, or the top one, which is harder for me to open. But it's so cute. And his Campbell's display is out now so um this will probably be put in it tomorrow thank you doug let's see what else okay this is for the girls so doug bought one two three four five six little golden books so this one's called the little mommy Aww. This one is Jingle Bells. That one I had as a little girl. That one's a cute one. My Christmas Treasury. Aw, yep. I love I love the I love the Christmas ones. You're gonna like this one. The Animals Christmas Eve. That's from a good one. From the perspective of the donkeys. I yeah. love it. That's a good one. You'll enjoy that one with the kids. I remember that one too from when I was little. And this one is Blessing. Oh, from oh that one's cute. And the last but not least, my little golden book about God. I had that one when I was a little girl. I love that book. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to, to read these to them. We're reading to them already now. Um, we're starting the process of reading to them. Um, visually, we're not showing them the pictures yet because that we're only supposed to show them right now black and white. So they have these black and white vision things to try and like, I guess it helps the, the strabismus muscle to focus. So we're showing the black and white imagery, but we're reading books. So thank you, Doug. That was so sweet. That's awesome. And then awesome. this is an inside joke that you all may or may not be part of. Um, a couple of months ago, I bought from Janine's skeleton heads for uh, crafting. And she sent them to me in a Trader Joe's bag that she swiped from her sister, Christine. So technically, that's my Trader Joe's bag. Like, I bought the damn thing, right? <laughs> but we had to go to Nicole's, and I wanted to pack a bag. So I asked Tom to hand me the Trader Joe's bag. And Tom got, like, all well, weird. Like, like, what do you mean? I was like, give me the, tr like, cause it was, it's a solid bag. So Tom's like, you're not bringing that one because we'll never get it back. I was like, what's the difference if we don't get it back? Like, are we collecting Trader Joe's bags now? 
and apparently we are, or someone thinking that people are, because I have been seeing resellers like crazy going to their local Trader Joe's and trying to sell them here on this platform. Yes. So wow. Oh yeah. We are the proud owners of one Trader Joe's bag, and it's from what I think they're like they're specific to like maybe your area, like you know, like maybe the Trader Joe's you get in Hawaii is that the same Trader Joe's you get in Wisconsin? But um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah go go just, on eBay and see how much they're going for. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's the new Starbucks cup thing mm -hmm. where you got a Starbucks cup from every town. Mm -hmm. Now it's like getting Trader Joe's back from every town. So my Doug, mm -hmm. my heartfelt soulmate, felt bad for me. So Aww. this is just for me. He got me a state farm bag. <laughs> And Tom can't have it. Nice, it's Doug. Nice. It's very nice. It's got an outside pocket, which you know what? Trader Joe's does not have an outside pocket. No. It's not an inside pocket. No. It's got nice handles. That's a deluxe State Farm bag. Are you kidding me? I love it. I could wear this and be the State Farm girl for, for Halloween. It's big enough to you just need a pair of khakis yeah. and a red shirt. That's right. And Converse. Or is that that's all, maybe something else? I don't I don't know what shoes he wears. But what that's the thing mean? with the commercial. It's what are you wearing? I'm Doug, khakis. I'm Doug <laughs> but last but not least. I have no idea what this is, but I'm stealing it for crafting. No, this is not last. It's the cutest little thing. I'm going to try and get it out of the plastic. You can see it. He sent me, not Tom, maybe both of us. <laughs> a pocket hug. Oh, so he's hugging us. We can carry this in our wallet. And always have a hug from Doug with us. Yeah. Wow. Was, like, I didn't mentioned. get a hug from Doug. Maybe. You didn't and I sent him cookies. Oh. I, I am his cookie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Doug. <laughs> I you know, you I got, let you win, and I send you cookies, and I don't get a hug. Wow. Ooh. And then. The best thing was It's random. Doug, I didn't Doug, let him win. Doug forgot to put the card in. And the card is the best part of the whole darn thing. And luckily, he remembered before he put it to the post office and he really taped the card so that No, it actually never you're off. lucky Thomas got that off the box. All right, I'm, let me read it read it to you first. I did get three so, cups. There is a reusable bag for you to use since Thomas won't let you use his. And a few golden books that I've included that I had laying around. And Tom's, a special ruler for you and a new toy to measure the pants off of. I don't know. Love you guys, Douglas. And we love you, but wait till you see my cover. It's the island. It is the oh island. my gosh, that's so fun! And do that's you see awesome, how there's Doug. two parts? There's my part <laughs> with Doug, and there's the rest of y'all. And I just say, y'all, the card is everything. Everything. There's a shark coming in. The card. I don't know where he got it, but it's so freaking funny. So <laughs> thank you. That's Doug you dressed as the shark, scaring. The uh, all of us on the other side of the island. You know, he's got to do what he's got to do, Trisha. You know, like you ladies, you're a tough crowd. You know, we're having tuna fish and kale, and <laughs> he's got to come over and scare us. Everything's Oh, they're maple. Mm -hmm. Not good. Wait, I gotta re reorganize. 
Tom, you're such a hoarder. Okay, that goes there. I gotta make sure the cat can jump up in the window. Put him in this face. All right. Yeah, Doug, you did great. You did great with the boxes. Dressed as a murder fish. <laughs> yes. I love it. I love it so much. Thank you so much, my friend. <laughs> you know how much you mean to me, how much you all mean to me. Oh. Thank you. But then I found out something about Pennsylvania I didn't know before. Oh, no. So, you know, you get to, I, I've said it, life's a circle, circle of life. You get the good with the bad. Apparently, there's a town in Pennsylvania called Altoona. What? Why? Why do you got to have a town named Tuna? Why, Doc? I don't know. They're not. They're not on the ocean. Why does he have a first name and a last name? Why is his name Al? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! There's a there's an Al Tuna in Michigan also. Al Tuna. Tuna. Oh, just, he says no. He says it's tune like cartoon. All right, then I'm gonna allow it. Not with a and U. You have one in it's, Iowa with a, too? it's with a double O, not with a U. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And then I promise you, I tell you the bacon story from before. So <clears throat> Tom is not supposed to be shopping because Tom has tons of packages here of shopping. And he never puts his stuff away. So we have a hoard of all the stuff that Tom has bought basically for three years. Basically. And he's going to take care of that when he retires, right? Yeah. So sometime in October is when he's going to start. I was done with work early today. So I snuck into the twin sale, Christine and um, Jen. And lo and behold, Tom is shopping while driving. <laughs> I stay in a lurk position. And Christine is holding up a vintage bacon press to make your bacon flat. And it's probably cast iron, which we know Tom collects. Oh, and it's definitely old. It's got a lot of age to it. And the press side has like a pig. And it says something like a pig. And apparently Denise had the same exact thing for sale the day before. She did. She, yeah, she had that for sale with, with us. Yeah. So now Tom starts bidding. I have not even said hello to anyone in the room because I was lurking. So I said, <laughs> Thomas, when exactly is the last time you made bacon? Why do we need this? If you don't cook and you're not planning on cooking and he buys the bacon, like the cheaters bacon, like somebody else made it already. You just got to warm it. I, mm -hmm. I buy that too. Yeah. So if you're not going to really use it, why are you buy it? So I busted him cold. And I said, unless you're driving, you can't be shopping on the, so he, I didn't say he couldn't bid anymore, but he, there was a counter bidder. So it was getting the price up a dollar at a time. Mm -hmm. And no, like no. So I didn't say he couldn't, but he went out, but he went out mad. <laughs> so I went online to eBay because I knew that it was going to be a ruined weekend because I didn't let him quote unquote, continue bidding on the thing. Did I, Denise, I, that doesn't help. She says, <laughs> use it with Amber girl. So that doesn't help Denise. I Good typed try, into e eBay, vintage bacon press. And then I said, sort by lowest price first. Mm -hmm. And a picture of Kevin Bacon came up, honest to <laughs> God. Mm -hmm. Test it if you think I'm lying, but that's exactly what happened. Because you didn't put cast iron, did you? Well, I also didn't put Kevin. 
<laughs> Your computer knows that you used to search Kevin Bacon, so. <laughs> you, you have another one? Let me know. Let me know if you have another one. So now, of course, they are there on eBay. And they're like three times the price that Christine had with the shipping and everything. So now I really feel bad, but not that bad. No, because it would have gone up higher had he stayed in it and he wouldn't yes, have gotten it for the, the cheap other price. person really wanted it too. Yes. And he said to me when he came home mad that I don't know what I'm doing because Denise's starter price was twice Christine's start price and he was getting a bargain and that, you know, he doesn't have this piece to his collection. So I said to him, you do have a press. I promise you, I could tell you exactly where it is. On this, on the baker's rack with all of your cast iron pans, you have it hanging by a hook. You have a press. And he said, I don't have that one. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he's true. But here's the question I have for the room and why this is an important story. Why does bacon have to be flat? I like the curls. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, really, who needs, why does bacon need to be flat? Steve? Steve agrees with you. Yeah, I do. It's not necessary. Like nope, it's he loves not, it. He loves bacon. I love mm -hmm. bacon, too, but I even love, I love the curls. The uh -huh. curls are great. Curls are good? Yeah. I will yep. be right back. Yep, Hus my husband says, yep. He'll take it what with the curls, too. Know? What about the room? Do you feel the need to have your bacon be flat for it to be satisfying? Or are you fine with the curls? I love the curls. I think the curls make it greasier, therefore tastier. <laughs> so room. Do you, agree? Yeah. Do you want to come join us? You can grab the stool. Uh, it's the talking sure. part. I'm okay. not selling. Okay. Yeah, he wants to see you. Okay. Okay. Stool's right over there. I left it out. Kind of hit So what do you think, guys? Do you have to have your bacon flat? And no. Denise, if you got it for a good price, then of course I'm going to buy it for him because I don't want to hear him crying. <laughs> Denise, go look for it. We need one. Oh my I don't funny. know. I don't know. Altoona is a derivative of Altona, Germany, which is Dutch for Holstein, a type of cow. Can you get a picture again? I got the smartest friends ever. Been really tall. Maybe I should be. You. you got you got on suspenders tonight. Oh yeah. Why do you give a man a wedgie when he's wearing suspenders? <laughs> <laughs> do you know that Tom is a suspender wearing guy too? Mm -hmm. I don't like it, but I have to deal with it because that you know that's my husband, and you're yeah. my you know fair lover. Yep. Yeah. So, and Denise, of course, does not like bacon <laughs> oh. no uh. surprise there no one's answering me who's not playing with me i'm i'm gonna get me it cooks more evenly with the press give you all a knuckle sandwich if you don't answer me who needs that bacon to be flat sarah lee says she needs it because it press it cooks more I evenly yeah, i love the unevenness of the fat like the fat is the best part of the bacon. Well, yeah, I cut the fat. I deep fry my bacon. So you cut, go. you cut stuff off your bacon. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Who oh. in the room cuts stuff off their bacon? I this cannot eat. I cannot eat fat. Meat fat. Mm -hmm. I cannot eat it. No, I, I cut. I cut yeah. the part. If it doesn't cook, you want and it's quick. just. That ugh, no, it's gone. Really? Oh, That's it's the gone. Best part. No, yeah. My husband deep fries his. Yeah, they have that at carnivals, like a lot, like you know, you know, a bacon and a Twinkie. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, you know, yeah. we're no. getting crazy out here in New Jersey. <laughs> right, Denise? Yeah, it is. No, I do not eat chicken skin. No, no. I don't I don't eat, I don't eat chicken skin. I, 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 no, 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 no. Mm -mm. But the grossest thing ever with chicken skin, I was at a table with other people and I pulled the skin off my chicken to, to eat my chicken. And without asking, 
my cousin's husband across the table reached his fork into my dish to grab my chicken skin. At least ask for it. I mean, I would have given it to you, but at least oh, ask for it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's no, no. It's just like I can't imagine what my cousin's no, husband. It's like, I, I will pass it to you, but no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no, she no, no. Keep your that's... fork off my plate. Exactly. She divorced she divorced oh, good before. choice. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just for All that right. reason. Yeah. <laughs> what are we gonna do then next? Next, I think we got we gotta come up with now. Jan left her words before she left. You know, we've been trying to name what possible Great. tattoos could be on Trisha's arms that are odd, eerie, weird, bizarre, whatever. And we are this week up to the letter O. So wow. start to put in your O words. Trish, I don't know if you took the time to write down Jan so you won't have to go all the way back up before. No, I, I have to go all the way back yeah, up. Yeah, go get hers. Um, start to put in your o, na o names. I'll tell you what you guys have done so far, A through N. You've done autopsy, bada book, duke, I don't know, cannibal, <laughs> dead fool, exorcist, flying monkey, guillotine, honey badger, I don't know why I have to feel French to say guillotine. I have to say, like, really, I'm French. Um, incantation, which is not to be confused with the movie Encanto. Jello, <laughs> Kale, Lucifer, Mortician, and then yet another one that no one but three people knew. Nosferatu. Nosferatu. I don't know. How do you say Nosferatu. <laughs> All right. So yeah, my yeah. Oh, um, God bless you. Woo. My okay. O was also, I think I wrote it down. Let me see. What did I pick for my O? Octopus, which I see somebody else put in. So great. That was my O. So let you put in your O words. And uh, Trisha will, um, will uh, pick from the O's. Mm. Oh, more than no. one person. You know, for the octopus, they are a creepy looking thing, aren't they? What the heck is that? It's the traditional dragon in a circle eating its tail. Ew, oh, gross. An Ouroboros. Isn't that a song? Yeah. Like, Bora Bora, Bora Bora. I don't I had to ask him what that was. He just told me. Gross. <laughs> All right. Who watched Loki? If you watch Loki, you know Ouroboros. Nope, never oh, saw it. Because I'm a Marvel is geek. Disney, is it on Disney Plus? I like, is this like yes. your whole Disney Plus organization? Yeah, you have a yes. conspiracy against those of us that don't have Disney Plus. Well, for sure. You know what well, you could do when you're not watching The Handmaid's Tale on Hulu? Cancel your Hulu, get Disney Plus. When Handmaid's Tale comes back, cancel Disney, get Hulu. Actually, Disney has a deal that you get Hulu for like a buck or something. Oh, yeah. All right. I don't pay for my Hulu my, my, at all. My cousin gives it to me. So I'm just looking for someone that wants to gift me to be their friend on Disney Plus. And that's mm -hmm. it. And I'll wait because I know eventually it'll come. Um. Because I've got Netflix, I've got Peacock now, and uh, um, the girl from Hulu, that's A Handmaid's Tale, a new series just dropped with her. I don't know. It looks good. But while they're I doing that- I started the watching stuff, on Netflix the three, three body, oh, what was it? Three body problem, three body- mm -hmm something yeah right, if you're gonna have information bring it but it's, this is not helpful it's weird it's weird I did, I did start watching what's the heck's it called monster Co wait monster monster talk no mind hunter i wrote it down Monsters, like if they are. So I have to crazy. ask you: Is this loosely based on a true story? Yes. Of this guy, 
Yes, okay. these are the guys who started. If you've ever watched the show Criminal Minds, yeah, no, that was on CBS. No, how did the FBI start this with program? The these profile. are the guys. Yeah, these are the guys who started the FBI profiling. Okay, so for those of us that live in a bubble and didn't know that, yeah, it would have been nice that the opening scene of episode one in the, you know, whatever, based on a true story. Four words. Five. Based on a true story. I would have been more invested knowing it was true. But then I was like, oh, he's saying I think Charles. I'm pretty sure we mentioned that, Sue, before you started watching. If I could hear the name of the show right, you think I'm going to remember that you told me it was... And then I went and watched Kiss Me Kate. I, you know, you're giving me so many instructions. I can't oh, even handle it. Kiss Me Kate is so good. If you guys haven't watched Kiss Me Kate yet, please go find it and watch it. It is so good. It is hysterical. You will laugh. <laughs> Angie couldn't get through the first 15 minutes. She Sarah Lee, I used to watch Criminal Minds too. That was, that was, it got too disturbing after a while. So I had to stop. Well, this, I watched this Monster Hunt, which is called Mind Hunter. Now I can share because now I know it's based on a true story of the FBI guys that came up with the profiling of serial killers. And th it starts with them talking to serial killers while they're in prison and gathering facts and facts and facts to try and mm -hmm. see like what types of people can tend to lead towards serial killing and it wasn't until mm -hmm. i recognized like that one of the serial killers was a name i knew i was like mm -hmm. oh this might be real like this mm -hmm. like like i was like seven episodes in like i had no idea so now i have season two to watch because i slept through it yesterday so i don't know if i slept through it because i was bored or if I just was really that tired that I fell asleep sitting up. Mm. But I am going to finish it, especially since mm -hmm. Janice announced that there's going to be a season three. So I'm Well, I, I have not yet seen. I know if you Google, if you Google, will there be a season three? You get yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I don't know who I don't know who to believe. I would like to believe that there will be a third season. Oh. Um but I'm not going to hold my breath that there's going to be a third season. But it's still an outstanding show. I like it. I, I'm liking it. I don't love it, but I like it. You know, you know, you can't love everything. I did love that Apples Never Fall from on Peacock. That was great with the, Annette Benning. I love that. Hmm. All right. Are all of our O's in? Are you all in, all we're out? Getting, we're getting a lot of them, but I'm going to go ahead. I will start with um, with Kathy or Jans. I will start with Jans, which were Omen, oh, um, yeah, Ophelia, and Ogre, which were very good. Very good. We have a cult officer. Okay. Obituary. Octopus. Yeah. Optimus Prime, oh. Oracle, Owl, Obscenity. <laughs> I don't know why Opera Singer is here. I love opera. Some of us <laughs> do know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. I happen. I happen to love opera. <laughs> you and Doug are going to have you. You know. Um, Sara Lee. I see, I see what you put next. I'm not going to highlight it though, just in case. Um, Ouroboros, hey, not, yeah. not going not gonna to necessarily promote <laughs> certain things here. Ouroboros, Optical Illusion, Kathy, I see what you put, but we're going to pass on that. Organ Grinder, Orcus, Organizer. Hi, Happy Maker. Oompa Loompa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> never Open wow. casket. Doug a little too soon. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't know. Now we have an oozing octopus. Oh my goodness. This poor octopus. Stuff. Ugh. 
Olive. Yeah, I don't like olives, so I'm I'm good with that. Orca. <laughs> Outhouse. Outhouse, very scary. Um, Oak Island, which I, I like that. I, like I don't know what that one. is, but it's probably a Washington thing. Otter? No, it's not. Um, Otters aren't scary. <laughs> Ominous smile, oboe. She she licked the tongue of a giraffe. I didn't lick it. Um, That's no, how I have it in my Oak head. Island is what North <laughs> North Carolina, <laughs> South Carolina. Is it like Rona? It's no, but it, it's supposedly where creepy things happen and. Okay. There's if you if you Oak I if you go Oak Island, you'll find documentaries and all kinds of stuff on Oak Island. Okay. I watched a really stupid documentary last night. Is it night. Canada? I thought it was North Carolina. Well, that's really close, Tricia. Oh, Maybe by Nova know. Scotia? Okay, I have no Someone idea then. Do a map of something. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a really dumb documentary last night called Brandy Melville. Apparently it was a clothing line in the 2014 period that white teenage girls went Oh, crazy that sounds for. familiar. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a one and a half hour documentary about the ownership and the behind the scenes of racism, semi anti-Semitism, um, Yada, is it yada, not yada. a brand anymore? I don't know, but it was oh. pop-up stores all over the world that oh. went crazy. Mm -hmm. But it was it their their thing was one size fits all, but the size was like size zero. <laughs> oh wow! And like every shirt was a mid shirt, you, Doug. every skirt was. Oh a yeah, mini every skirt is a mini skirt. Yeah, I've oh mm -hmm. I've seen them. They're everywhere. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, so this was a story about employees that had worked there and and inside like jokes. the Lululemon in documentary. That's mm -hmm. a good one too. That one's good with that the freaking quality of the clothes and the smell. Yeah. I like that. That one I like more than this. I never even heard of this brand because oh, I guess it was yeah. not my kid's time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, you Doug. I, I will. I, yeah. the next time in North Carolina, I'm going to take the bridge to Oak Island. Thank you. <laughs> so, Sue, remember when I told you I thought I had two copies of Greatest Showman? Yeah. So what do I do while no, you're you talking? Said you had, you said I you go had order. Four. No, I well, I go order the Greatest Showman because I couldn't find it. I said to my husband, I just ordered it for Sue. So when I send her her books, I'll send her the video. And he goes, we have two copies. I said, we do? I couldn't find it. He's like, it's upstairs in the drawer. So you're going to get a copy <laughs> one way or another. <laughs> It's cancel really it good. cancel it babe before they ship it can i do that i don't know yeah no, sure i want to make can. sure you actually have two copies up there before i do yeah you can do that because otherwise you're gonna be like yeah we have two and then we won't and then i'll be like oh crap oh crap <laughs> so what so, does he do he marches away i'm gonna find it miss <laughs> trisha you've read through all the o's anything spiking out as top three or you know that you're, you're teeter-tottering on well i think i have to go for a classic i was trying to find jan's comment i can't find jan's comment but yeah i think we're gonna go for the classic ogre because <laughs> ogres are always ogres are always a good one so yep that right, OG ogres are a good classic goes goes well with nosferatu as a good classic is o-g-r-e how you spell ogre Yes. Yes. So smart. All right. Then the next thing I like to talk about is um, what song is stuck in your head? So, you know, keeping my tradition, my song is from Billie Holiday. And it's uh, Good Morning Heartache. So here's a little bit of it in poetry form. Good morning, heartache. You old gloomy sight. Good morning, heartache. Thought we said goodbye last night. I tossed and turned. 
until it seemed you had gone. But here you are with the dawn. Wish I forget you, but here you are to stay. It seems I met you when my love went away. Now every day I stop, I'm saying to you, good morning, heartache. What's new? And it goes on. So that's what's been stuck in my head with Diana Ross singing it, not Billie Holiday. Oh, okay. What's been stuck in your head, folks? What song has been stuck the in your songs head? That we were talking about Hamilton last week. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Songs of Hamilton, especially the King George songs. I really like the those. soundtrack to the play. Well, you can watch it on Disney Plus. But yes, you're annoying. You're annoying. <laughs> you're annoying as a plus. You can you can actually watch most of it on YouTube. You can actually see most of it on YouTube. Okay. Based on your musical suggestions in the past, I kiss me, Kate. I'm gonna piss. I'm gonna okay, nobody passes on Hamilton. All right, nobody Ooh. passes on Hamilton. I do. That's what <laughs> does. Hamilton is so good. If you don't take the time to watch Hamilton, you are missing out on something. You're missing out, dear. Uh -huh. So me and Steve, me and Steve are gonna go bowling that night. I don't know what are we gonna okay. do. <laughs> that he'd like. Yep. Yep. You know, Sue, so you, know. you you seriously need to give Hamilton a chance. Oh my God. It I, I, is I, I not know, what you I think it is my list. at I all. Add, I have given every recommendation that you have given me a shot. You've only yeah. struck out really once with Kiss Me Kate. You've been right about what I would like so far. So yes, I will find it. Oh, Happy Maker, My Girl by The Temptations. That's a good one. That's a good one. Have you had one this week? Yeah. yeah. But just but seriously, whatever, whatever preconceived notion you have of what Hamilton is, it is not at all. It is, it is moving. It, it is powerful. It is history, and it is amazing. And it is not a paid endorsement to this channel, but it certainly no. sounds like it is. Well, <laughs> I, I do like Encanto also, and it's written by the same guy. So there you go. Oh, uh, what is it called? Manual? Lynn, oh. Lynn, Manual. Lynn Miranda Manual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, he's very talented. I'll give you that. Mm -hmm. uh, Doug, do you try every week to stump me with something I've never heard of? Yes, he does. Zach and Sarah. Ben Good Folds. job. Anybody I else? Know, I know Ben Folds? Folds. I don't know Zach and Sarah. I like Aaron, that. Why don't you try just refreshing and, and coming back and see if that helps? Or maybe put your headphones back in and see if that helps. Turn around three times. I hate times having you meals. muted the whole time and not, you know, not being able to jump in. Put your left foot in. Put your left foot out. Wow, you're oh. singing. And it's actually being, oh, wow, I'm impressed. Yeah. yeah. Better, Aaron. Better. Okay. Have Will you get up and do that at a wedding when that song no. comes on? No. No. Will you, will you do the electric slide? I wouldn't even know how to do the electric slide. <laughs> Okay. Do you do square dancing in the Renaissance where you're like, my lady, let me take your arm? I do. He doesn't. I, I have. Oh, he has. Okay. Oh, yeah. Not with me. No, I took dance lessons up in Appleton for Renaissance dance. What are you now we tell you. Now we yeah. tell you. All these years, I could have pulled, I could have brought him into yeah. dance with us. That's why you didn't tell yes. me. Yeah, with the SCA, they had lessons. That's why you well, I got a, I got a, I got a, a song that stuck in my head. It's a, okay. it's a pretty touching song. It's called it's it's, "Mama Hold My Hand," by Alloy Black. Right, and you need to, if you check that out, check that song out. It's I'm a, pull it up. yeah. 
I'm going to put it on the chat for y'all. Now, I may not get the, the rhythm right of how it's meant to be, you know. So it says, mm, cross the road. Mm. And then it says, when I was just a little boy, I would go play. And I would wander so far from home that I would lose my way. Then I would call mama to help me. And she came right away to get me back home where I want to be. And here's what I'd say. Mama, hold my hand. I don't think I can cross this road by myself. Mama, hold my hand. I don't think I can cross this road by myself. Then I, when I was younger, I would go astray. Didn't want nobody to hold my hand. I wanted to make my own way. Mama, hold my hand. I don't think I can cross by myself. Mama, hold my hand. I don't think I can cross this road by myself. I have never heard that, but it's beautiful. It's yeah, beautiful. it goes on and on. And it's pretty good. By Aloe Block. Beautiful. Who else is putting lyrics? Who's who else is putting songs in? Aloe Black. Beautiful lyrics in that song. Trisha, anything rumbling in your head this week? Other than invoices and bubble wrap? You mean like the whole conversation we just had about Hamilton? Other than Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we don't mm -hmm. talk about Bruno from Encanto. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Do you know what she's and like? That. You know when you have a record that skips and it just keeps going and it comes back to that That's same me. spot, going to the same me. spot. Next week, I want you to work on this question. I want you to come up with something new. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Renaissance. Wait a minute, you know. No, I haven't had a song mm. running through my head this week. I had one. It's an old, stupid song. She Blinded Me with Science by Thomas Dolby. All right. I'm going to look for it. What? She Blinded Me oh with Science. Oh, my gosh. Thomas I'm gonna Dolby. Look. I'm going to look. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, I, that's the weird <laughs> crap that sticks in my head, you know? Yeah, that, that makes me worry. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Everybody ready? Oh, sure. It's poetry in motion, she turned her tender eyes to me, as deep as any ocean, as sweet as any harmony. But she blinded me with science, she blinded me with science, and failed me in biology. You know I was a biology teacher, right? That's probably bringing us, like, symbolically <laughs> together. Um, uh-huh, uh-huh. When I'm dancing close to her, blinding me with science, 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 I could smell the chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> I have to live with this guy. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I want to know what kind of odor is emitting from this woman. But now it's poetry in motion. And I think there's another song. It's, it, isn't there like a Bee Gees song? It's, it rhymes with your ocean. You're on your pillow. And deep. It's, but it's not this song. When she's dancing. Oh, next no, it's not this song. No, no. <laughs> When she's blinding me with her science, I can hear machinery. Yeah, ha. It's poetry in motion. But now she's making love to me. And the spheres are in commotion. The elements are in harmony. She blinded me with science and hit me with technology. You are a romantic. <laughs> you are. You are. You are. All right. So just oh, there, I, I gotta look up I gotta look up Doug's song. What was it called, Trisha? Can you read it to me so I don't have to go back? Zach and somebody. What was that? What was the name of the song that um, Doug put in? Keep up, girlfriend. Zach and Sarah. Z-A-K and Sarah, S-A-R-A -A, by okay. Ben Folds. All right, I got it. You ready? Sure. Sarah, spelled without an H, was getting bored on a PV amp in 1984, while Zach, without a C, tried out some new guitars, playing Sarah, with no H's, favorite song. 
Zach and Sarah. Often Sarah would have spells where she lost time. She saw the future. She heard voices from inside, the kind of voices she would soon learn to deny because at home they got her smacked. <laughs> wow. Sarah. Zach called his dad about a layaway plan and Sarah told the friendly salesman that you'll all die in your car. <laughs> and why does it gotta be so dark? And you're all working in a submarine and then there's a curse. Doug, you're gonna need headphones on the island. <laughs> That's it. You're gonna need headphones. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Mm. All right. No, no one else is coming forward. So I'm going to move to 161st date questions. We're rounding the corner here. Um, the last thing we asked last week was what took you so long to figure out? And my answer was that Arizona, not Arizona, Alaska was not an island. And everybody <laughs> had answers like that. So next question is, what do you do differently than most people? Um, Cook meat. <laughs> yeah, but you, uh, that would, yeah. Um, I, can see, like, I can see Trisha in downtown San Diego going into like, you know, Chinese restaurants and stealing like soy sauce, you know, like the, the packets at the uh -huh. table, and then like making these concoctions to marinate three-day-old meat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat old meat. Oh, me. but um, I've story. been told. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told that I I do math differently than other people, I guess. The way I work the math problems out in my head is mm -hmm. different. I was told. I've been, I've been told. Oh my God, oh, let me! I eat, eat, eat everything circle. in a circle too, because cool. <laughs> I don't like anything to touch. Do you start at twelve o'clock though? Because you have to start at twelve. Oh, please confirm <laughs> that you're not starting at an odd hour. Because I eat in a circle too. Let me, if you are, you just want. say you say you start at at twelve. <laughs> So, yeah, do it a circle. So I work in a circle in a continuous cycle of five. So I do five emails, I do five phone calls, I do five something else, you know, whatever. Five, five, five and I have a song. The song is, and you're not going to get a strike on it because I wrote the song. So here it goes. Five, five, five. Let's sing the song of five. How many is five? One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. Let's sing the song of five. How many is five? And that goes through my head all day long as I work things in fives. I cannot end the day with emails in my inbox that are not a multiplier of five. And the only multipliers of five are five and zero. So today I ended on 20. And I almost did one too many, which would have maybe have 24, which would have meant that I would have had to go to 20. And I knew I wouldn't be able to do the ones that were left because they require Does, does anybody have any assistance for Sue with this issue? <laughs> it's OCD, honey. This is what OCD looks like. This is what it manifests and how it looks. You have to have, you have to have a plan to get through the day that will help you to get through the day. So for me, it's the number five and doing things in a cycle of five. And I have met and talked to many other people with OCD. It's not the same for everybody. Everybody's no. OCD is different. No, it's no, so different. no. But this ties into Lemmy's eating in a circle because <laughs> I can't start at one or two o'clock and I don't put on the fork something that's at 12 o'clock touching something that's at three o'clock. So I'll eat the meat before I'll eat the vegetables or I'll eat them in a round robin. Okay. 
five Filipinos. Right, Lemmy. I only had three. <laughs> I only had three. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Doug put they could there. have gotten two more if you really needed it. They could have easily gotten two more. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Doug puts hers wavy chips on peanut butter and jelly. I don't I like know what it. hers is. It's what is brand. hers? It's a brand. Mm -hmm. like you get Vegas. that at Wawa? No, it's everywhere. It's 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 a brand. And no. it's tasty. You're supposed it's to tasty. say yes, you can get it at Wawa's. <laughs> I tie to that do a PBJ <laughs> with Fritos corn chips and bananas. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's, yeah, that's how I like it. Um, Aaron, you don't like jelly. Sandwiches are different. Wow. Oh, I don't uh, like grape jelly. Okay. Let's not get it wrong. No grape okay. jelly. I only eat strawberry preserves. <laughs> not raspberry? I said strawberry, Trisha. Not apricot? <laughs> it's a different berry. Learn your berries. Bring a book about berries next time, all right? Not the fish Thank books. God. Try and bring a berry but book. Then, Maybe yeah, but then I... I could like get that. them at Wawa. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. But then I would have to take the crust off if I eat the peanut butter. But then I could eat any other sandwich with the crust on. Oh, okay. So, so turkey sandwich, the crust is on. Peanut butter, yes. no crust. No. You know what? It would be interesting for you to go back and ask your mom if when she made your school lunches, if she cut the crusts off and trained mm. you to do that or whether you came up with that on your own, because there are a lot of mothers that for some yeah. reason cut crusts off of bread. Like just because you know, kids won't eat it. Yeah. Just because kids won't eat it, whether or not they know their kid will eat it or not. And I apparently, don't remember, I don't remember if, not my mom. if, if I had crust or didn't have crust. I honestly mm. don't remember. Well, I can tell you that we didn't have white bread. <laughs> So there's no peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in my house. The peanut butter came into my life with Thomas's English muffins. So we would have Thomas's English muff muffins with butter and peanut butter. So that's how I got introduced to peanut butter. I but like bologna. Well, before did I no, that. no, I can understand why you wouldn't like bologna. Yeah. Yeah, because hot dog, you know, that's similar it's, to it's, yeah, yeah, it's it's extremely similar to bologna. So yeah. So when I was at that's New York, not gonna fly in, in New York for those couple of days when the when Rosie first came home, um, we were gonna have deli sandwiches. And Nicole says, What do you want? So I was craving a bologna and cheese sandwich, but I didn't realize that I was in New York in a Jewish neighborhood and Jewish delis don't carry pork. No. So whatever came like home was hmm. definitely not bologna. It okay. was some some beef based, garlicky meat. So it wasn't even the right color. It looked like the color of liverwurst. Mm -hmm. So Nicole's like, "I'm sorry, mom." I was like, "I can't eat it." She goes, "You can't eat it." I said, "No, I can't eat it." She goes, "I don't have anything else to give you." I was like, "I don't need anything." She's like, "You have to eat. You're a diabetic." I was like, I exactly. Can't I can't eat that. She goes, eat mine. I says, your sandwich has mayonnaise on it. I can't. So she found a protein bar and we settled the whole score. Wow. <laughs> Kathy likes oh, a slice. Oh, of I like that donut. too. PB and honey. Kathy, that's outrageous. That could get you arrested. <laughs> slice of bologna with a donut. <laughs> yeah, that's... <ugh. laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but there are stranger ooh. things. I mean, at at like carnivals and fairs, they f deep fry and put like everything like in the fryer now. Like <laughs> and then but put it on. Stick. I mean, the first Oreos. time I had a deep fried Oreo, yeah. powdered sugar. I mean, it, it was life changing. Like now, <laughs> like when we go to a carnival, I want that because I also <laughs> like funnel cake. So like this is like funnel cake with chocolate. Hmm. Apple, you're pregnant. You have a pregnant craving. <laughs> Wait, what? Don't, don't start the rumors. Don't start the rumors. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> what? Where's Randy L. Page? <laughs> Left his junk in Texas. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> pregnant cravings. I craved Chinese food through my whole pregnancy. And I still Chinese food is still one of my favorite things. I like to have it at least once a week. And I'm a creature of habit. I don't try anything like no. Love Chinese food. Oh, I like yeah. it too. Yeah. You don't want to know what I crave. Well, you know what I crave during yeah. my pregnancy. Yeah, I want to know. Don't whisper. Like <laughs> my pregnancy. Okay. This so is my pregnancy story. with my Let's daughter. Right, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, do you remember what I craved when I was pregnant yeah. with my son? Yeah. This is a talk show. When you talk, you got to talk to the crowd, not just well, the okay. and the cat. So, so when I was pregnant with my son, what was your two a.m. drive? We usually Taco Bell. Yep, Taco Bell and those red slushy things. Those oh, things those from the gross things. those gross things. I can't stand them. I don't know why I wanted them so bad. You you get them at the uh like the gas station, the red slushy things. Like a Slurpee oh. or yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I had yeah. to have them. Had to have them. And then with my daughter, it was um. It was called Fazoli's. It was a fast food chain, like pasta. And I would go and just buy the breadsticks. I'd buy a bag of the breadsticks. I could sit and eat breadsticks like the whole time. How many pounds did you gain with that pregnancy? I Well, I got really big with both of my pregnancies. But I got very big. Matter of fact, oh, yeah. so I had to get my driver's license renewed when I was pregnant. So then after I lost the baby weight, the one place where I don't remember was a bank or what it was, but they wouldn't take my driver's license. They're like, that's not you. I'm like, yes, it is. I was pregnant. No, ma'am, that's not you. I'm like, this isn't your driver's license. They wanted to confiscate my driver's license. I'm like, no, I need wow. that. That's my ID. That's how I drive. Well, this isn't you. And I'm like, yeah, it is. But I had just, oh my gosh, I was huge during my pregnancies. Every bit of the water weight and everything else just stuck. <sighs> I never got rid of that baby weight. I don't know. I That's just... right. That's right. That's why you're wearing the suspenders, because otherwise we're going to see your crack, and then you're going to move on the motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a new what's thing. The, what's, this, what's the state I'm south of Wisconsin? No, no, we're not trying that. No. South? What's south of Wisconsin? What state? Missouri. Illinois. Illinois. Oh, Illinois. Illinois. Dibs. So nobody else Illinois. does anything weird? I thought well, you were all a bunch of weirdos. I grew up eating peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Ew. Oh, that's weird. That's that weird. <laughs> yeah, my grandmother, she wanted pickles on everything. That just made me like burp. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Ew. I just burp. You don't have like, to try it. It's actually not bad. No, no. I love I love pickles, but like that we have no. like places to go like to the pickle guy where it's in the barrel and you say like i want a half sour full sour hat like horseradish <laughs> tom goes like crazy and they have like tasting samples i know where to find tom at a flea market he's at the pickle desk <laughs> apple, I, have a, I have a question for you apple you put out a video this week and uh you bought a pair of hoop earrings that were the size of a small globe <laughs> <laughs> And you said in the video, I'm in Pennsylvania at the, at the flea market. It looked very much like Columbus in New Jersey. So my question to you, Apple, were you falsely portraying that you were in Pennsylvania when you were actually in New Jersey? <laughs> I'm telling you, these hoops... They're gonna get caught on her, like on her, on her collars, like they're so big. <laughs> and you see her like thinking about it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get these. Should I get these? I think I should get these. Yeah, they're big, but I, yes, I'm gonna get these. <laughs> Where were you? Oh, you were at Jake's. Jake's looked an awful lot like Columbus. I thought you were telling a little fib. Mm. How far is Jake's from Doug? I never heard, I really never heard of Jake's. Yeah, she was away like the whole weekend. She went to Comic Con. Someone let her out. She went crazy. She was <laughs> out about Comic Con, flea markets, big hoop earrings. You can't wear those big hoop earrings in the subway. Some of them rip your ear right off. <laughs> you gotta put them on when you get in the apartment of a house party. I love I love me some apple. 
and it was her birthday. So for those of you who don't know, a little happy, happy birthday, happy birthday, Apple, happy birthday, Apple. Happy birthday, Apple. Some posts. So anybody else a weirdo that does anything else weird? Hmm. I mean, Trisha, what There's about a lot that, of things. That, <laughs> that, that Picasso cat taught you to eat? Yeah, uh, candy corn and peanuts. Does it taste like a payday candy bar? And watching her eat it is no good. <laughs> she's like, a, she's like, just like this little, Happy like, birthday, it's like Apple. the world of miniatures, right? The size of it. And she's got to have the right. Yeah, because you have a candy corn peanut. and then you take half a peanut and half a peanut and you make a little sandwich. <laughs> the freaking kill Picasso for teaching her that. <laughs> And Trisha never really usually ever eats on the show. I mean, I've eaten on so many yeah. shows, it's ridiculous. But Trisha usually never eats on the show. So for her to munch on these through a show, mm. it was like this was like it was like she was like an addict. Like she couldn't <laughs> stop. She couldn't stop. I haven't had it since. <laughs> but then sometimes she gets caught in the other world of needing to reapply chapstick 40 times in a show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did when you were gone. Did you? Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes, Doug, I don't like candy corn either. All right, Doug, I'm going to go on a limb. Yeah. I don't like this product either. I don't like peeps. Do you like peeps, Doug? No. Not root, no. I've... Peeps, really? But I, I'm asking my eternal flame. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, on the island, root you don't peeps. want any peeps. No. Any peeps. peeps. They float. You could use them as a flotation device. Have you seen my mm. breast? I float. <laughs> <laughs> Boats think I'm a buoy. Ugh, I'm like, no, I'm not a buoy. Back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doug doesn't like peeps either. There you go. Thank God. Doug, our world is still good. Candy corn. Ooh. Yes, Happy Maker, they are salted. Yes, salted peanuts and candy corn. Yeah. Why don't Happy you just? Like I know, I know. Apple, you can just eat a candy bar, but it's fun sometimes just to have candy corn. No, it's like she's like the like you know, like a watchmaker goes like really deep in to concentration when they're like fixing the, the inner workings of the wheels of a watch. Watching Trisha put together this sandwich of sorts, this <laughs> peanut candy corn sandwich, she goes like she's like she's in a zone. She's gone. <laughs> Like her eyes are like, I'm like Trisha. Well, you, it's it's a balancing act. Oh yeah, you, you got to concentrate. Yeah, because one one slip and there oh. it fall on the floor. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is our next question? <sighs> Where's the last place you'd ever go? And I'm going to say to a showing of Kiss Me Kate. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Last place I'd ever go. Antarctica. Last place I'd ever go. Yeah. Hmm. San Francisco. Yeah, you don't like big crowds or big cities. No. Antarctica, because Antarctica is freezing. I don't like yes, cold. I like that. Yeah, you can go by yourself. Go see the penguins. Take pictures, bring them back. No, you got to come. Saw a video that was like the most amazing thing of these penguins, because of the the the, you know, the warming of the world, the earth, and the the high height of the icebergs to the water, that all these penguins, like a thousand penguins stood at the precipice of the iceberg and the water the sea level was like a hundred or more feet down and they just all stood looking at like oh my god and then one brave little soul jumped <laughs> and showed them all oh it's okay. and then little by little by two by three by four they all started, how they caught this on video was amazing. Like that I'm part cute. of nature, I could watch that kind of stuff all day long. Love, love, love. 
But How'd I they get back up? Win. You saw it too, Doug? See, Doug and I must subscribe to the same kind of stuff that we get the same things on our feed. It was so cool, right? Thousands died, but they would have all died if they all stayed up on top. So yeah. what a leap of faith. Crazy. Yeah. But just the first little guy to go, like, mm -hmm. somebody's got to do it. Let me, it was just, um, this is the most amazing video. Sounds cute. So where is the last place you'd go? So you're in Antarctica. And Aaron, mm. I'm going to say you're not going to go to the Oscar Mayer factory. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not, I'm or, also not. Uh, or not what is it? Nathaniel's? Nathan's. Oh, Nathan's, yeah. Yeah. Nathan's. Nathan's. Yeah. Nathan's, yeah. Oh, yeah. New York sewer. There you go. Yeah, I'll stay with the Bud Light Brewery. I'm, I'm not going to go to a mushroom farm. Uh, no, no, not? <laughs> mushrooms <laughs> are a fungus. fungus. This is her. That's her. You say mushroom. That's her sentence. Mushroom. <laughs> mushrooms are a fungus. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are a fungus. They are yeah. not food. They're a fun guy. <laughs> fun guy. <laughs> Not that fun. I know. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and one day they are going to take over the world. And you know why? Because of their growth pattern. Because they start and then they grow out in a circular fashion. Mm -hmm. And nothing stops them. And they just keep going. One day they're gonna take over the world. Cool. Can they take over the and government now? Be It'll be an improvement. Oh, I won't be there. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna argue See, with look, you. Doug, the hashtag mushrooms are the devil. Thank you, Doug. All right, listen. Oh, Steve's singing about a science girl. Maybe you two are a match. <laughs> Hmm. I taught you fungi. Fungi, fungus. It's not a cursus. Oh, yes, it is. Don't put mushrooms on my... So, <laughs> Apple is not going to the New Jersey Turnpike Exit 17. That is the oh, stinky part. Goodness. It is. Do you know why? It's where they have mm -hmm. all good. the humongous places to store gasoline. Stop it, Denise. Oh, really? oh. <laughs> I don't need doctors to tell me that mushrooms are a fungus. There's a fungus among us. We're going to need a doctor and a, and a psychiatrist. We're going to need some help at the island. I know we need a bartender for sure, but True. we're probably going to need a social worker. A psychologist. A psychologist, yeah. Mm. I, we can't let the twins live next door. They'll both be bald. They'll pull each other's hair out. <laughs> All right, let's see. Are we done? <laughs> Should we do another one? Yeah, it one smells more. Like, it smells so bad. It's so. Oh. Yeah, you have yeah, to. Yeah, that's the like breath. blue plains. Yeah, you in, have to hold in the DC. That it's part. a sewage plant, and it's rough going through there. I'll Aww. tell you what's nice to pass by the Nabisco plant. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a good smell. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, question 158. Trisha, what fact floored you when you heard it? <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. What did it floor me or bore me? <laughs> I you can't understand, understand what she said. Why? Because I'm from New Jersey? Floor. Okay. F L O R floor. <laughs> Apple's the social worker. That's right. She'll find housing for us all. Thank you, Apple. Thank so you. So for me, of course, it was finding out that Alaska was not an island. That <laughs> I had literally no idea and felt like the stupidest person on the planet. And I posted it on my Instagram. And when I looked at it, I realized I held the I held the, the map upside, upside down. down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I double them. I'm a double stupid. <laughs> <laughs>
I it wasn't going to point it out. No, I, 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 I caught it, but I didn't catch it originally. Doug, Doug, <laughs> you know what? I, I never watched Downton Abbey either. How dare you? <laughs> never watched it. And are you gonna? Maybe one day. Did you like Bridgerton? It, it's not a matter of, of if I liked it or not. I it's just time. never had time to work it in. I know you are yeah. busy. Yes, are I do. Busy. I love Bridgerton. I love Queen Charlotte. I have yeah, you, loved all of that. You will like this. Oh, you're shocking everybody. Hulu and Doug and everybody. I haven't seen it either, Tris. I don't look at anything. So what? Did, what? What fact? When you so everybody it, in the line here. Last um, question of the night. It's a hard one. Yeah, I can't believe sixty-four years old. I thought it was an island my whole life, my whole freaking stupid life. Floored me. I blame the New Jersey school system. I'm a daydreamer. I was I was a good student because I could memorize for tests, but I can't I can't stand listening to chatter. So like I would daydream through school. Like just I would go and you know, everybody here you know, we're talking, we're having like everybody's talking at me. <laughs> mm -hmm. One's singing, one's talking, one's looking at the window, one's trying to pass a note to David Sussman. I was busy. Oh, no kidding. Oh, my vintage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Kim. Hey, Kim. You know, yeah, let's talk about the Robert De Niro and, and the uh, Al Pacino having <laughs> children this late in life. Okay. Oh, let's, let's <laughs> <think about it. laughs> watch it. <laughs> oh. Boy, that is that. Where? That okay. Is... Okay. Where, where can I watch it? What, what platform is it on? that I can watch it. All right. Let's start there. Oh, well, one one thing is for it me. Is on Netflix? I'll have to let me go look. That is Downton Al uh, Al um Alby and that downtown Alby cuz I thought it was downtown the whole time. Well, I know it's on PBS, but how am I supposed to stream it and watch it? I I'm I'm searching. I'm I'm, I'm searching. I'm going to Oh. Oh, sorry. No, go uh, ahead, if, I'm not if I'm not mistaken, this is what really blew my mind. It's I, on I gotta Amazon check the text Prime. Again. You have Amazon Prime, right? Yeah. That, so it's on Amazon Prime. Okay. That whales can and, live and to like peacock, two. But I don't think you have peacock. No, that I whale, don't. That whales can live to like 200 years old or something like that. That's cool. I didn't know that fact. Hmm. Let me check that again. I'm, Pretty sure it was oh, something PBS like that. PBS has a streaming channel, so PBS.com. Cool. But she won't pay for it, so it's got to be free. I, but I'm, she has Amazon Prime. I have Amazon Prime. There. She shops there. So let's I'll talk about the De Niro and Pacino and the babies, and then we'll call it a night. I thought, I've been thinking about this this week. You're an embryo in the world. Okay. You have a choice, okay? Your choice is your father could be an average Joe and live a long life and you have a dad and you don't have anything exciting nothing oh, no. you know tragic oh, drama drama but you got your dad you got a you got a solid family surf you know thing. okay and on the flip side you're an embryo and you're never going to know your father because he's going to die when you're very young but he's a movie star and there's scores and scores of videos and photographs of your father so that you could sort of get to know yeah. your father through the interviews or the talk shows he's been on and he leaves it's you humpback whales. many millions of dollars that you're going to get when you're 21 which would you choose is that for us i missed it <laughs> it was a long question <laughs> i'm sorry Stuff so about twenty one a million dollars. So you're gonna get you're gonna from these two old men. You're never gonna know them, but you're gonna be rich. Or if you could choose to be the your fa a father in your life, but just an average life, nothing special. Would you pick okay, the number father? one? I am the wrong person to ask this question to. 
because my father has never been in my life. So I decline to answer that question. Oh. I accept you your leave you a million dollars. <laughs> More than a million, millions. Oh, oh boy. Millions. Yeah. Because that's what these two guys have. They have legacy oh, yeah. money to leave these children. Oh, yeah. But the children will never know them. Right. Well, children probably the better. Embryo. What do you pick? Oh. And Happy Dumb. Maker, no, I have not seen Ripley, and I didn't even know that it was out there. But thank you for letting me know, because now I, I would like to see Ripley. So thank you for that, Happy Maker. But I will not watch Ripley until I watch Downton Abbey. All right. <laughs> but I'm going to write it down. I'm the embryo that's going to pick the money. <coughs> Mm -hmm. What about you guys? Are you going to pick the money or are you going to pick the dad in your life and a, and a, a good life, but no money? What do you pick? I think I think the dad. You take the dad? I see it. Oh, and I have another question I want to ask you guys. I did not think about this issue when I was giving Nicole a shower and they call this a diaper drive. Like where everybody comes to the shower and brings a box of diapers. Oh, yeah. okay. I, I didn't do it. So now I've got twins and I didn't do a diaper drive. You is, it tacky, is it tacky for me to do like a note out to, you know, the people in my phone, my friends and family and say, I don't know how I would word it. Like, would you like to participate in a diaper drive and send diapers to Nicole and Mike because they're going to need a lot of diapers over the next few years? Yeah. Is that no, tactic? I think, did, I miss, did I miss my window? No, this would be all right. I think they'd be, they'd be glad to help out. You think? I think? Yeah. I'm on the fence over it. I know Nicole won't like it. <laughs> but I'm doing it for her, not to her. Apple's going. Sarah Lee would take the, the dad. Doug thinks it's not tacky. I don't know how to say it. I think I, I, I mean, especially since we don't know what the medical bills for Brooke are going to be yet. We don't know. And Mike still doesn't, Mike still did not get a job. So he's been out of work four months now. Like, I'm worried for it. So I'm trying to do yeah. I got very lucky in that I found. Um, a formula connection. Right. So that's, a, that's a gift that I found that. Mm -hmm. But I haven't been lucky with, I thought about writing letters to like, you know, Pampers and Huggies and talk about the situation with the one healthy twin and the one sick twin and the medical bills that are going to face them and, you know, her husband's out of work and see if they have like any kind of programs, you know, start with like the big diaper companies first. They must have well, don't they have rewards programs? I don't know. It's been so long since I've been in that world. But okay. all right. So if um, well, they if, did that for me for my son when you and I, I were because he was he was um, in a full cast. full leg cast and then a wheelchair for a while when my son was born. So. They the church did a diaper drive for us, and we literally had in in Zachary's wall nursery papers. a wall, just one wall was just covered with packages of diapers. Yeah. And we, so, I'm so mad that I didn't think of it, and my my millennial didn't tell me like about that because mm -hmm. really there were 40 people there that were in 40 boxes of diapers. Like mm -hmm. oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if mm -hmm. I should just send. To the people who were invited to a shower, or I should send to the people that are in my phone book, or should I put it out on my Instagram? I don't want to. I don't want to look like. I mean, I'm just looking for generosity. You know what I mean? Like huh? for things that the kids would need that would just help. And I don't want to insult my or hurt my daughter either because she's not comfortable with that. I don't know what to do. Think about it. Let me know what you think. Well, I gave the answer. It's not tacky. I would do it. Okay.
Yeah, right. Yeah, cloth diapers. Yeah. Would she be willing to use them? I I don't I know. know. I you know the two. I mean, they're running they're running the washing machine all day long now anyway. Right. You know? Right. With and their, luckily, yeah. luckily, the washer and dryer are in their apartment, so they don't have to go to a laundromat. They were lucky well, with the apartment that this has it right in in the apartment. That's um, you know, good. While I was there, I mean, you know, they're spitting up constantly, so there's there's, laund there's laundry at lots. But mm -hmm. I don't know, like, do you use a diaper service when you do the cloth, where you, or do you wash them yourself? Do you like. I'm worried about E. coli and stuff. We, like, had, you know, we had someone um, here at the condos who um, had a diaper service and the like a little van would come around and mm -hmm. pick them up and drop maybe off. I look into that to see the cost of a diaper service. Maybe maybe that would be the way to go and talk to her about that. But because I don't know if you want to wash poop diapers in your washing machine. E. coli is the devil. You know, like, if you, like I don't know. I'm, it's a little scary. Use a lot of bleach. Yeah, and bleach is not skin friendly for babies either. No, not know? for babies, no. There's a, not, not oh. a National oh. Diaper Bank Network. Okay. This is good information. Thank you. Yeah, so I figured, you know, I got one more month to work. And then I have time to, to concentrate on these types of questions. I bought my, I bought my, I bought a laptop today. So I bought my first ever computer. Um, Yay. Congratulations. I, uh, I, I went with the Dell um, for home use and, you know, all said and done, it was about a thousand dollars, but I can't, mm -hmm. I can't go through life without a computer. So it was a necessary expense. You put the poop in the toilet and spray the diaper over the toilet before putting it in the washing machine. Lou knows because she's a homeschool, so she probably this is probably how you did it with your own children, right? Well, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, send me your tips. Send me your tips. Mm -hmm. All tips are welcome because I, I, you know, I want. I bleach is not good for anyone. Yeah, I right. Know. I know. I know. I, I'm so, I, it's so mad. Like I had the chance. I, I know people would have given them if I would have asked. Because I asked for the golden books instead of a card. So that's why she got the library of golden books. Well, you know what you could do is say, now that Brooke is home. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You know, now let's do the diaper drive now that, that Brooke is home. And if you'd like to participate, let me yeah. know and I'll give you the address. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, that's a that's a good segue in to it. You know, my older sister didn't know Brooke was in the NICU over a, a month. She's like, oh, wow. I miss that. I was like, how do you not listen? I told, I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we've gone to 1230, which is later than we usually go. Mm -hmm. And I um, want to thank you, as per usual, for being part of the whole show and for hanging yes. out late. Um, we know there's lots of places yeah. you can be, and we appreciate when you hang out with us. And last thing I always say at the end of the show. Any question for any one of us, including the Renaissance couple? Any <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Are you with child, my lady? Thank you again for having us. <laughs> best best pickup line in the world. <laughs> May I fetch you some water? <laughs> yep, yeah, that's all. That's when the trouble started. <laughs> Got it. Oh yeah, that's a good a good question, Kathy. Are they getting wick? No. Oh, no. they should get no. that. She still works, so she still has a salary. They're just at half salary now. I don't yeah, know. but she might not make enough, yeah. and they can qualify. Right. Yeah, I have to check that out. I told yeah. her to call the social workers at the hospital because that's their jobs to see right. what programs they're eligible for. Mm -hmm. Right. And depending on how much she's making, like Wick is pretty high because we got Wick when our kids were little. Okay. Yeah, you can work and still get Wick. Uh huh. All right. Lots of good tips. Uh huh. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thanks for all yeah, the tips. Good one, Kathy. Good call. Yeah. I see no questions for any of our panelists. 
So with that, I would build you a G U. And right. I will see you next Friday night and I won't be French. Good night. <laughs> yes, and don't forget, Aaron will have his sale on Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern time. And he's got a big announcement to make, so don't miss it. And yes. I will be having my 10 p.m. Uh, Saturday night sale. So be sure and stop by. Who you saw? And my next show is Monday. Uh, Sabrina. She's fun. Well, well, you said all these guests are fun. We have a good community. Yeah. yeah. And, and uh, Renaissance Queen, you said Monday. Yeah, my my our next show is Monday. Um, I my special guest is the one and only Aaron <laughs> and Anitra. And, and Anitra. Yeah. Yes. going to be on my show, so I'm excited about that. Yes, yes, yes. Good night to Let all. People. Doug, you can ask that tattoo question till the cows come home. She's not telling. She's not telling. Just remember. Every, <laughs> oh, so She's like, no, you don't have market money. you got to watch Downton Abbey. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Oh, yeah. And yeah, we'll see you guys. Well, some of us will see you tomorrow, but have yes. a great weekend, everybody. Thank Good you.